Mental health problems affect one in four of us. Join Mind now in the fight for mental health.
Mental health problems affect one in four of us. Join Mind now in the fight for mental health. A donation of £20 could help 167 people take their first steps in getting mental health support through Mind's booklets. £40 could help keep Mind's supportive online community side by side, open for another hour, helping to connect people and feel less alone. Hello everyone and welcome to the live stream. There we go. <laughs> what an absolutely fantastic start. Making sure that I'm on mute. Excellent. <laughs> so, as I was saying on mute a second ago, let me find the mute button. This is a very special live stream. I'm going to be doing a 15 hour live stream in aid of Mind, the mental health charity in the UK. Um, spread over, <coughs> excuse me, spread over about three days uh, so i'm going to be doing five hours tonight five hours tomorrow morning and five hours on sunday morning as well we're going to be breaking this up into three different very chill and relaxed games of first off starting with garden simulator which i only just found on gog.com and i'm incredibly pleased for it um and then tomorrow we're going to be going on to potion craft which is a game i am currently obsessed with on xbox game pass it, it there's nothing particularly kind of frantic about it it's just a very relaxing methodical game and i find it to be one of the games that i just chilling out to in the evenings quite a lot recently and finally wrapping up on sunday we're going to be playing bear and breakfast which is a game where you play as a bear who makes a bed and breakfast in the middle of the woods you're gonna have to tune in on sunday morning to see it to believe it i found this randomly on my search for chill lo-fi games on the internet and i'm really pleased that i did so yes Firstly, everyone who joined in early doors, thank you very much for joining us. Hello Erin, possibly my youngest viewer ever. I'll try and keep the language as PG as possible. Um, and we'll start playing with some Garden Simulator. Now, what I have remembered is I made some very subtle, anyone who's ever streamed, I made some very subtle changes to my setup a couple of days ago. Obviously, big event coming up, so I obviously made some changes. Um, and Garden Simulator play. Let's just turn the music down, turn the game up. So anyone who has any experience with live streaming will know if you make any changes whatsoever, something else breaks. So you as the community, you just need to let me know if anything's wrong, too loud, too quiet, too big, too small. I can kind of see a preview of myself um, for fans of the channel and members of the Discord. Uh, people will know that I've had to rearrange my windows um, on this monitor because my cat Phoenix has decided that he's obsessed with television. Obsessed at the moment. So anything with a screen, he really, really enjoys. So let me just tab out of this for one second. And let me firstly, whilst we have this rather delightful music, There we go, that's a nice, it's a nice volume. You can hear that in the background. If that's too high, just let me know. I can turn it down. Um, 
but let me just swing quickly over to the donations because we've already had some early donations thanks to the wonder of social media although i'm not technically on social media at the moment i am on linkedin so big big thank you to both ad stokes and claire knee for their 20 and 10 pound donation respectively thank you so much it warms my heart thank you very much um so yeah so i will pop in chat as well there is mind you will find all of the information there in chat if you are on Twitch. If not, you can go to tiltify.com, that's T-I-L-T-F-Y.com forward slash at peripheral mic forward slash mind to find the campaign information. That information, once again, probably is on the screen as well, actually, now come to think of it. Um, <clears throat> you can also scan if I'm on a television or anything like that. You can scan the QR code, which is that way <laughs> in this corner. Let me just... Can I edit what I'm looking at right now? No, I can't move myself. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. I was going to try and like float myself over to the other corner. But uh, if I do this and then go through the power of technology, this corner right here. <laughs> there we go. Uh, now I have to try and use a very tiny preview window to try and get myself back. There we are. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me. There's going to be uh, some relaxing gameplay over the next few hours. I'm here until about 10 o'clock at night UK time, so the next five hours, and we're going we're gonna to kick things off with some Garden Simulator. Now, just double check the settings, because I think... Yeah, I changed my resolution. That's good. I'm going to increase the field of view very slightly, just about 75. Everything else is fine. Oh, we need Ultra. We need high definition grass high definition gnomage in our life that's what we need let's go play i'm gonna start a new game i played this for a couple of hours as you can see two and a half hours there but we're gonna start a new game and a new garden i live in an apartment in a multi-story building in the center of a big city during the past few months i've been working from home same while that was a very productive environment it also took a toll on my well-being. Same. <laughs> so, I decided to take things a little slower and take care of the family property out in the woods. Ever since my great-aunt great aunt Ellie passed away many years ago, the house and garden have been unattended. My next move was simple. I decided to leave everything behind for a few days. I wanted to clean up the yard, mow the lawn, plant some seeds, and find out where things would go from there. Hello, Echo Alpha. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Oh, and questionable results as well. Anthony Albino, uh, Anthony Albino. thank you very much. Um, I think I saw other people as well, but I've scrolled too far down now. Fast forward a few weeks, and that is the story of how I quit my high-paying IT job and became a gar become a garden owner in the woods. But let's start on the day of my arrival. I'd like to say that's my ambition, but I quite like having a high-paid IT job. <laughs> well, I will one day anyway. <laughs> right now I'm okay having a paid IT job. Okay, so we're, firstly, stunning greenery. <laughs> it's nine o'clock in the morning and we have our garden. Which I've got to be honest, I'd love a garden like this. I would probably love So we're going to walk around, I'm going to kick some stuff, say hello to the cat. Hello, crouch. How do you crouch? I've forgotten how to crouch. Can I crouch? No, that's Windows. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of that. I don't play with mouse and keyboard very often. I don't think I can crouch. However, can confirm, can pet cat. All good. Can pet cat. And interestingly, it's a brilliant photo. I need to show you this photo if I can where Phoenix, our cat, is actually looking at this cat whilst I'm playing it. Now, I don't know how well this is going to show up, but you can see my cat watching the TV screen, watching this cat. <laughs> he was obsessed with it. Um, I will also share that on the Discord as well. And if I just pop into chat for a second and go exclamation mark Discord, 
anyone who's not a member of the Peripheral Media Lounge, or Peripheral Michael Lounge, I should say, you can join, and you are a member of Discord, you can join, boost my numbers, and help me take over the world. I mean, become a part of a really nice community. I mean that too, obviously. So, as far as I can see, I need to put rubbish in the skip. Garbage only. Okay, garbage only, trash only, caution, some graffiti, hazardous waste, garbage, garbage, all garbage must be in plastic bags and tied. Well, I've just broken the law, haven't I? Bit of wood. The, uh, my family um, garden probably looks a little similar to the state that this garden is in right now, growing up. Oh, this one's in a plastic bag, so that's okay. We've got new items in the shop as well. What is this? Oh, that's a... I'm not allowed in that bit yet. I'm clearly not allowed to step over this rope until I have some garden shears to cut through this rope. Except I can... <laughs> I can jump half my own human height. And I can't jump over it. I'm not here for realism. I've got to remember this. <laughs> What's this? Oh, trash bag. Uh, switch to hand, pet cat. There we go, lovely stuff. And there's also some stuff... Is there any other stuff? Is there anything on the porch? I don't think there's anything else. So we've got tasks here. We've got... Ooh, some planks of wood on the windows. Let's get those off. What was that? Oh! Oh, I assumed... Oh, wow. That's haunted greenery. Right there. I'm not expecting this to be game of the year, don't don't get me wrong. <laughs> wow, that's been there for a while. <laughs> that has been on that house for a while. I assumed this was aesthetic. I'm not gonna lie. I I thought this was two and a half hours playing the other day and I honestly thought that, that was supposed to be there. Maybe it is, maybe I'm vandalizing Aunt Ellie's house. You know, maybe she grew all of these, all of these ivy vines specifically. Who knows? Oh, I don't know where that one went. Did that one go in the trash? Let's assume that one in the trash. We have a shop as well where we can buy different tools on our shop book pro and an adorable gnome next to it. More of gnomes later. So there's been some questions in regards to um, why 15 hours and 15 hours. So when you when you try and do a stream for oh wow that piece of piece of wood, we'll be looking. Echo is also performing moderation someplace. Okay, that's fair enough, Echo. I appreciate you and all you do for other people like myself. Um, Echo is Echo is a solid human, solid solid human. Uh, yeah, if you sign up for streaming for Mind, um, you can do certain challenges. Uh, they actually have a streaming section, which is very forward-thinking for a charity. Um, so they have lots of assets. You saw some of the assets earlier in regards to the um, streaming soon. Uh, there's a be right back screen. There's some uh, sound snippet ads that I'm actually not 100% you heard at the start, but we'll go over those later. Um, and yeah, you can sign up for, I think it's 1 hour, 23 hours, or 15 hours. Or rather, I should say, you're 1 hour, 15 hours, or 23 hours. Not the long way around. That didn't go in the bed. There we go. Um, and 15 hours is for the 1 in 15 people who will attempt suicide in their lifetime. Which is a startling statistic, and not one I was aware of. But anything that can help get... Uh, money to a cause like Mind. Um, I'm in the position where I've never used Mind's services, but I didn't realise that they had quite so many services. They have helplines, they have support books, they have... Obviously, you've got the charity shops as well, but there's a lot behind the scenes that you don't sort of realise is going on, and they specifically um, focus on mental health. Uh, which is obviously near and dear to my heart, because I have and do have mental health issues. Um, which I'm sure we can get we can get into further details of that later. Like right now we, we're just cleaning up a yard and petting a cat and looking at some birds. I'm not sure these nails should go in this wood. 
in this bin. This is a recycling nightmare. <laughs> Speaking of recycling nightmares, <laughs> had the awkward grown-up uh, problem this morning of somebody putting uh, non-recyclable material in the top of our recycling bin so the, the bin collectors, the bin man wouldn't take it in, which is infuriating. Um, so that's, so how's your Friday going? <laughs> is that all the wood off the windows? Good. I mean, it looks, it's not too bad. We could do with mowing the lawn. We could do with cutting the grass, petting the cat. Come here. Come here, kitty. You're going to be the most loved kitty. You look exactly like my cat. You really do. How do how do you crouch? I've forgotten. No, enable grid. Don't know what that is. Um... How do how do you crouch? Can crouch? Settings. Controls. <laughs> nope. You don't get controls. Okay, cool. Like I said, I'm not expecting game of the year. So let's go over to our MacBook and let's order. Oh hang on. Let's go out of this. We have new tasks, so let's go check our tasks because that will give us an idea of what we want to achieve. Oh, I can call it a day as well. I can call it a day, show my skills, or show tasks. So what's my mission right now? Grandpa Bob. Hey, grandchild. Glad you decided to take care of my sister's garden. Thought you could use a helping hand. You should buy a shovel, a watering can, and some seeds from Jimmy's. Ah, good old Jimmy. Uh, good for you. He started his online business a few months ago. I left my laptop next to the garden shed. That was careless. Best, Bobby. Uh, buy tools and seeds for your garden. One shovel, one watering can, and four eggplant seeds. And we'll get some stuff in return. Never look at the sun, kids. That's all I can say. Uh, one shovel. Oh, we can't afford a shovel shovel. We have to buy a small shovel. Okay. Uh, one shovel. One small watering can. And seeds, seeds, oh there's tabs, seeds, eggplant seeds, four eggplant seeds please, thank you. I'm just going to do exactly what the tutorial tells me until I have free reign to do what I want. Catch, Catch. oh yeah, incoming. Good lord, that nearly hit my cat. <laughs> Be careful. Amazon delivery drivers now. Jimmy's dangerous, I'm telling you. <laughs> Lots of noises there. Lots of collection noises. Uh, so we now have a shovel. Oh, that's what grid was. Got it. I remember now. Um, and we have a watering can, which I need to go fill up. There we go. <laughs> so surprisingly, like the first watering can every every single person purchases in the world, <laughs> and some eggplant seeds. So we're gonna um, oh, there's new tasks. We're not gonna do anything yet. We're gonna see what the tasks are. Uh, Grandpa Bob, hi, grandchild. So you found the laptop. Let's see if you have what it takes to be a gardener. Use the shovel to prepare the ground. Why do I sound like Deckard Cain? <laughs> Plant the eggplants and water them. Stay a while and listen. Uh, on each day, they will grow a bit. After a few days, you can harvest them. Best luck, Bobby. Excellent. He knows so much about gardening and he's quite uh, you know, knowledgeable about this sort of stuff. But he still doesn't know his own grandchild's name. Uh, well, okay, let's harvest some eggplants. Can I buy a lawnmower, maybe? Can I buy a mower? Oh, it's unlockable. I can unlock a small push mower. Uh, trash. Throw trash away five times. 20 times. Tons of that. Unlock. How much is it? It's 20 coins. How how coin do? Oh, 108. Okay. There we go. Because we definitely need to mow this grass. Just tab out a sec. Just make sure... The one thing I don't have is the screen real estate at the minute. So the one thing I'm hurting for is um, the ability to check everything all at once. 
Oh, that that thunk in the background is going to be my um, my mower turning up. Uh, little little wibble in uh, signal, but otherwise all good. Hopefully, I'm coming through loud and clear for everyone. Uh, right, let's go pick up. <sighs> Settle in. Go pick up my push mower. <laughs> it's also very reminiscent of the first mower anyone ever looks at when they go to a garden centre. It's like, this will be fine. It's not. It's never fine. It's never, ever fine. What is... Oh, I can store it. Got it. Okay, let's mow some grass. Uh, six. It's so weird to me to press um, numbers on the keyboard to correlate as uh, uh, quick bar items. Instead of just using, like, thumb, thumb buttons. Thumb buttons, triggers, and bumpers. There we go. This is going to take a while, but that's okay, because this is a nice, relaxing way. I actually really miss um, uh, mowing the lawn. It's one of the things we want for our next house, is a garden and a bigger lawn. I say a bigger lawn, we have a yard at the moment, basically an exercise yard. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, we've made a lovely exercise yard, but it's a yard. Oh, I just got very careful not to run over the cat. I don't actually know if that does anything in this game, and I'm not going to find out. Cats, animals should be protected at all cost. All cost. I've still not forgiven Fable 2. Fable 2? Fable 3? The Fable where the bad guy shoots the dog. That's not a spoiler, it's fine. <laughs> it, I mean, it is a spoiler, but there are some spoilers you've just gotta... You've gotta take with a pinch of salt every now and then. You can re you can resurrect him. It's okay. Tra wait. So is this is this just trash? It's a different colour. So I'm assuming I can just trash it. Oh wait, no. I think I missed some missed out on something earlier because I didn't I did that too soon. I got too eager, just like I am now. It was I was too eager in throwing my grass trash away. My grass trash. It's almost six o'clock, which means not in real life. It's not even close to half five yet. But in game, it's almost six o'clock, and that's when the day ends. Which means I should probably. Oh, it's getting dark. <laughs> I'm actually finding it difficult to see. Uh, I'm probably gonna. Now I've cleared a spot. Dig. Dig. Diggy hole. Diggy hole. Uh, eggplant, 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 eggplant. And watering can? Watering can? Can I water both at once? Oh, no, because I'm not close enough. No, I can't. <laughs> oh, I can! Oh, I'm a clever sausage. Oh, I'm out of water. Curses. <laughs> it even sounds like they've recorded someone filling up one of these exact watering cans. There we go. Now, if I'm going to continue... That's the wrong one. Six. Mowing the grass. Oh, whoops. There we go. Clean up this bit of grass. This is this is how mowing grass is. Oh, the day ends at six. Enter your house to sleep. Call it a day. Does it go past six? I wonder. I wonder if I can store these somewhere. Let's test with one. Right. Let's pick this up. Can I pick this up? Nope. That's me examining it. Can I just put this in storage? Whoa. No. No, I can't. Oh lord. <laughs> I did not. That's just. I mean, it's stored. Is that going to be the same? No, let's put that there for now. Right? Because I'm, I'm reasonably certain there is a uh, an objective 
in not too long that says harvest like five bags of grass or something like that. So we can... Oh, I have a skill point available. How exciting. Wow, this UI got real messy real fast, didn't it? Um, let's do that. And let's do skill points. And let's do... Ooh. Whoa, look at the skill trees. We've got watering, mowing, fast learner, florist, agriculturalist. That's, that's a tough word. Um, trader and compost master. I'm known as a bit of a compost master. But for other reasons that only the grown-ups in the audience will understand. Uh, each level of watering increases the watering speed whoops, by 30%. This skill also affects the efficiency of sprinklers. I can get sprinklers. I can get sprinklers. Uh, mowing. Each level of mowing increases the fill speed of the mowing bar by 20%. This also affects the lawn robot. This game. This game has offered me so much more than I thought it would. Each fast learner increases the experience gained by 10%. Florist increases the harvesting speed of flowers and income of flowers by 8%. Mm. Uh, similar, but with fruits and vegetables. Trader increases the income of all sources by 6%. And Compost Master. Uh, Compost Master increases the speed of fertilizing and the efficiency of fertilizer by 5%. Everybody needs efficient fertilizer. However, I'm only watering stuff right now. Um, but that doesn't really give me much. No, I'm going to go with mowing. Because mowing stuff will give me money. And I'm nothing if not cash motivated. Day two. Funny story, we actually heard a chicken, like... A, a, a chicken, a cockerel. We heard that noise uh, when we were walking around the other night in uh, near our local area. Which is very weird. Uh, where is ah? Good, it does save it. Excellent. So let's do some early morning mowing. Oh, look at that! Look at this place. This is lovely. I mean, I probably wouldn't go swimming in that water. It looks a bit green, but <laughs> I'm I'm not going to be going swimming anywhere. I don't like being in water, so lovely brook there there's some there's some gorgeous looking hikes up those hills lovely picnic spots it's a very level piece of land to be on a on a hill like this they've uh, cultivated this really rather nicely i think it's fair to say whenever i do my eventual uh, video games homes under the hammer video that i keep banging on about uh, this this might be the um, escape to the country version Try not to run over my eggplants. Never, never run over your eggplants. If there's one thing you plants don't like, it's lawnmowers. I've found that on zero occasions. Beep beep. Thank you. We definitely need a name for the cat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up the floor for a name for the cat. Oh, lovely. Another unlockable is available in the shop. Excellent. But we also need to, uh, to um, water our plants as well. Look at it resting in the grass. Look at you. I know. You're adorable, aren't you? Yes. Uh, let's pick this up. Pop this in the uh, lean to. And let's carry on mowing. The music appears to have disappeared. I'm not quite sure. Maybe we've run out of music. Did I accidentally press the music off button? Or is it just allowing me to enjoy this delightful part of the morning? There we go. Lovely. Oh, there's a, there's a tiny bit there that I can't quite get. There's always a tiny bit there whenever you mow that you can't quite get. Oh, there we go. I honestly thought, because this isn't, you know, 
probably the most well-made game in the world. I thought that it had broken for a second. <laughs> just gonna, I'm just gonna mow my porch. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> just mowing my porch. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised how accurate this actually is, <laughs> because I've, I've done this with a strimmer before. Not this specifically, but like I've definitely gotten closer to, uh, to. Um, concrete than I, I should have. Should I leave a little bit of tall grass? Nah. I'm so passionately invested in this garden. Oh, there's bits here I can't see. Oh, whoops. Oh, no, that's that's fine. I thought I destroyed one of those bags then by running over it with the mower. I didn't. It's just an extra bag popped up where those bags were. God damn, I really miss mowing grass. <laughs> you could just give me a grass mowing simulator and I'd be happy for ages. <laughs> I've tried to choose, and one of the things I like about when I signed up for um, Stream for Mind, they actually say, they give you like a guidelines. Uh, document, which is, just, I've done a lot of charity work for a lot of different companies, and that is unheard of. That they're like, firstly, they accept it that you're going to live stream for them, like they're totally on board. And secondly, they have a guidelines document. It's like that's not just don't use our logo incorrectly. Um, you disgusting influencer. Uh, oh no, I've dropped that. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Oof. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> There we go. Um, but more a case of like, oh, by the way, uh, don't play any games that could have triggering content. Don't play any games that are overly spooky or going to have jump scares or anything like that. Or even a new skill point. So I think it's... And if you want, you can just message them. Like, I got this t-shirt because I'm, I reached out to them to say, hey, I'm thinking of playing these. Um, just let me know if there's anything wrong with these specifically. Not that I thought there would be, but just in case... Um, but they, uh, yeah, they reached out. They sent the shirt. They sent the shirt out. They reached out and said, "Yeah, that's fine. Um, there's a ton of games there that you can play. Uh, but basically, don't don't play any jump scare games. Don't play any, or we prefer you not to. Which is fair enough. You don't want to watch 15 hours of me playing Phasmophobia to raise money for mental health awareness. I mean, come on. I know. I'm, I'm gonna think I know the audience. So <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go for. Uh, Agriculture, agriculturalist. Each level of agriculturalist increases the harvesting speed of vegetables and fruits and the income. Okay, cool. Now I get me more money. Speaking of money, I need to water my plants. I need to refill my plant gun. Water can. That's the word. That's the word. Language is hard sometimes, people. Language is hard. Sometimes I can get two plants at a time when I water, and sometimes I definitely, definitely can't. <laughs> Whoops. Don't stand under the watering can. When I was playing this last time, the cat stood under, water, under the watering can as I was watering. As cats do, but it was definitely not happy about that. I'm just going to quickly hydrate. I'm just going to put myself on mute. Also, give it a closer. Just in case no one's told you today. Firstly, you're doing great. Secondly, go have a drink of water. Thirdly, take your medication. All right, you got this. There we go, that's full. Uh, is there anything else I can actually do? Can I buy anything? Oh, there's new. Yeah, there's new unlockables at the shop. Oh, I can unlock. I can unlock grass. Great! I just got rid of all that. Um, what else can I unlock? Instead of unlock, what can I purchase? Nothing. Oh, some some mushrooms. 
Single-use mushrooms. Multi-use. Multi-use? Why multi-use? I wonder. Ooh, flowers. Uh, and more flowers. I can build fences. Pea sticks, fences, stones, paths, other fences. Or some hedges. I don't know if I want hedge. Well, maybe I do, actually. Maybe I do. How much is it to unlock this? Oh, I just need to... I have unlocked it. I have met the requirements to unlock both of these. Good. Uh, how do we purchase? Uh, a low hedge you can look over. Okay. Let's buy one of those. And let's see what it looks like. That tab had a gnome on it, and I don't gnome why. <laughs> ah. Look like grass there. Catch where? Oh, there we go. Uh, grab the package. Five. So do I just have one of these? How do I rotate? Rotate. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, I, c I can get on board with making like a little hedged-off area for some flowers. Maybe if it's... Can I put it there? Ah, uh, sort of. No, I can't really move that now. Well, that kind of... Ah, mostly works. I think I think it's the garden that's not straight rather than that. Right, so if I get like two here, and then two here, and then two at the front, or like one at the front, I'm going to make a little... little... No, wait. How many spaces do I have? Let's make the space first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so another one there maybe. And then a little front kind of patio looking area. Uh, let's go to the shop. Uh, hedges, so let's go for another, oops. I have 106 coins, that should be fine. Ching. I should have went click in the background then. And I completely forgot I'm recording myself on my DSLR for a behind the scenes video. That will be, I would say, exclusively on something. It's not going to be exclusively on anything, it's going to be on, on the YouTube channel. Uh, but you will see weird behind the scenes bits. Ah, this is where everything lands. Got it. Maybe don't want this to be here. Oh, there's a bit of, bit of rubbish there. Uh, five. Oh, that's terrible. How do I get rid of this? Do I just, do I just dig it up? Uh, grab? Grab. That's how I do it. Disable grid. There we go. Let's just eyeball it. There. And grab. And there. Much better. So five. So, uh, well, we want these straight now, don't we? Ah! That's not straight. That's not straight at all. Going on with you? What? No, there. There. <laughs> What's going on with this hedge? Ah, oh, that's close enough. I would have liked it to have been one hedge, but I don't think that's going to happen. Oh. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? That'll work. Anyway, I need to shave back in a bit. No worries, Echo Alpha. Just be careful. Uh, I don't have any more. But that's quite a cute little... It's a shame I can't have like a half hedge just there. But that's like a cute little fenced off area for flowers. It'll be even cuter when I do... Oh no, I want grid for this. Oh, Lord. I'm not going to start digging up not on grid mode. I'm not a monster. Good grief. Uh, right, let's go. Beep, 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 boop. Let's get some flowers. Flowers, mugwort. Uh, 
Mugwort's a Latin name. The common mugwort is a species of flowering plant in the daisy family. How exciting. Uh, there's none others there. What's these? Uh, Peperomia is one of the two large gen genera, genera? Gen gen of the family. Uh, but there's a lot of very big horticulturally names in this. And I'm not going to be able to pronounce. I can barely pronounce technical names. Uh, it's estimated that they are at least over a thousand species. It takes four days to grow. How long does this one take? Three days to grow. How many species have I got? I've forgotten already. Oh, sorry. Very important. Pet cat. Lovely. Um, how do see one two three four five six seven eight nine i think let's just get one and see how much space i take up i'm thinking the daisy one the daisy one sounds nice mugwort it sounds like something from harry potter i'm not gonna lie did i water these today well watered good medium quality moderate quality even pickable in two days hello Oh yeah, they're all going to get flat in there, aren't they? Why did I choose this bit to put them in? I do not know. Oh, that's massive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine. I mean, we're going to have to get a nice pattern, don't get me wrong. So maybe another one, one, two, three, four of these and four of the others. That seems like a fair trade. Uh, one, two, four of these. Oh, I don't have the coins for this. No worries, Anton. Thank you very much for joining in. Uh, bye, Erin. Thank you. Um, we are going to run out of money. So as as helpful, as, as beautiful as this flower patch is going to be, uh, this is going to be a work in progress for now. Yes, enjoy your bath, Erin. Miss you, love you, bye. Um, there we go. They're well watered. I don't think I can do anything else. There's some grass that I've either missed or has grown overnight. Just one blade here and one blade there. Oh, did I miss? Did I miss an entire section? I could. Oh. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not 100 percent sure on that. Oh, I'm not. I'm not cutting. And now I'm cutting. <laughs> there we go. So where's that grass that I thought I missed earlier? A bit here? No. A bit here? No. Hmm. Oh, it was there. Okay. So I think that's us for another day until we can harvest the eggplants. Oh no, I forgot completely. There was the gnome. <laughs> what is this? Gnomes. Unlockable. Harvest fi have 50 garden coins. Got it. Fred costs 10. A colourful garden gnome made of clay. <laughs> a large colourful garden gnome made of clay. A colourful garden gnome with a lantern. Excellent stuff. Uh, you cost. 10. I'm, I mean, I'm 100 percent buying that. Like, I can't. I don't want to justify spending like 20, 25 on some flowers, but I'll definitely buy a garden now. Without a doubt. Where are you, delivery person? Oops! It fell over the cat. It's like real life. <laughs> Those flowers are gonna get so smushed. I did not think this through. <gasps> Look at him, he's adorable. Come on, Fred, where are we going to put you? Um, you're going to be the guardian of these flowers. I'm going to disable grid. <gasps> can I put you on top of the hedge? Yes, I can. <laughs> there we go. Lovely. Fred's in his rightful place. Call it a day. <laughs> day three. 
Hey, it's Sherry and Red Egg. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Welcome, welcome. Can I jump out this bit? No, I can't. So I can't pick... Can I reach that yet? Can I reach it if I go up here? <laughs> no, I can't. So... What is... What's going on here? What is this? What? Wait. Oh, no. Did I just... Oh, God, did I just, um, thingy? I don't know what just happened there. Ah. Oh, my windows have moved. Curses. Uh, did I just pick my flowers before they were ready? Did I thingy? What is this? Examine. Oh, it's a weed. Oh, I see. <laughs> I don't know if you thingied, but you might have stuffed. I. Yeah, that's a that's a solid statement on this channel. Thank you very much, Arian. Uh, oh, also, Anton, Aaron, and Lucy, thank you very much for the five hundred donation. Good luck, dude. Excellent. Thank you so much, and thank you for sharing the uh, the mind link, um, Arian, as well. Something dinged then. Oh, I have a new task. Uh, where did I just put that weed? There we go. I think it's stuffed and I weeded. Standard. So, water. There we go, that's what you need. Can I get both of these at once? If I stand closer, can I get both of these at once? Ye no. <laughs> no. Sometimes I can and sometimes I can't. I think if I'm already watering, I can. Get it? Watering can. <laughs> Sorry. I'll see myself out. Just gonna have to do them one at a time. Oh, don't run out watch it for the Ah oh, as if Absolutely ridiculous. There we go. So that's all then watered. Uh this needs watering as well. I think it needs watering every day. I'm assuming he's going to be watering every day anyway. Cool. Uh, Alright, Fred. Oh, I have big cat stretch. I have big cat stretch. It deserves a stroke. Nope, that's the wrong button. That's the escape key. Come here. Let me love you. <gasps> I heard a thing. Hello. I actually heard a thing that time. <gasps> Shari and Reddick, thank you very much for the £40 donation. Thank you so much. That's amazing. I genuinely appreciate it. And other people of mine appreciate it as well. In fact, that is a really good um, segue to one of the uh, ads that I have queued up for Mind. Because £40 keeps one of their services running for, I think, it's an extra number of hours. So that's a that's a, a solid amount. Thank you. You can't see yourself out. You already are outside. Exactly. I'm that, I'm that person you see on, on like TikTok and, and stuff like that who, you know, when they take like uh, meetings and they're actually on like roller coasters but they've got a green screen behind them. Um, if you haven't, then it's probably just aimed at me, I'll be fair. Uh, but I'm, I'm secretly in a park. <laughs> I'm live streaming. There's a generator just behind me. <laughs> uh, right, uh, so that's watered. I have a new task and a new unlockable. Firstly, what's my new task? Neighbor Jean. Hi, neighbor. Just her. <coughs> try again. <coughs> I'll try that again. Hi, neighbor. Just heard from the mayor that someone new is here. How's it going? I used to take care of the flowers with Ellie. Maybe I could give you a helping hand. Best, Jean. Plant flowers and harvest them. Pick three mugwarts. I'm sorry. So you. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You want to give me a hand, right, with my flowers, but I have to grow them, pick them, and then what? Give them to you? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. That makes no sense whatsoever. Store item. What? Store item? Store item? How do you store item? Apparently I can't. Uh examine. Well watered, well watered, well watered. Maybe he gave you the seeds. Maybe Jean gave me the seeds. Maybe. You're an adorable cat. 
I know you are. You're adorable. You look just like my cat. What was I doing? Um, I've forgotten. New unlockables in the shop. Let's have a look at the new unlockables in the shop. Oh, we can unlock... Oh, we've unlocked grass seed. Own a small shovel. Okay, we've, so we've unlocked it. That actually doesn't cost anything. As far as I'm aware, unlocking it doesn't cost anything. Um, it's just buying it afterwards. There's no more unlockables here. That I'm aware of, anyway. How do we get the next gnome? have 100 garden coins right we're saving up people we're saving up all right time editing for me to transfer some sunhaven that's fair enough sharon reddick absolutely fair enough <laughs> i keep seeing that i keep seeing people playing it and i'm just like is that is that any good is that just going to be a disappointment like some other farming games uh, right, so there's no other grass that I can see. Unless I can actually mow all of this. Nope, there's no randomly long bits of grass anywhere. I've got three bags here. Oh no, there was a bit there. I'll go around the edge a touch. Try not to, <laughs> try not to randomly run over my... Uh, oh. Try not to randomly run over my um, eggplants at the same time. Like I said, never run over your own eggplants. And I think that might be us for today. Because we're definitely not buying anything because I want the next gnome. <laughs> Who knew I wanted to collect gnomes so badly? Do I have any skill points? No. I don't have any skill points. Sunhaven is pretty fun. Feels a bit like Stardew, but with magic and more expansive skill tree and more guided quests. It does look good. I'm not I'm not gonna lie, it's on my list of games to play to see if it's a lo-fi game. Uh, and I have no additional tasks. So let's just call it a day. We're on a half day today, it's fine. Because that's something if you aren't a member of the Discord, then you won't know this. But if you wish to be a member of the Discord, I will pop a link in chat. Um, I won't. I won't be there for a while. Um, I won't be there for the next few hours. Uh, oh, look at those lovely eggplants! Wow, they're massive. Whew, that's that's a humongous eggplant. Um, yes, one of the things we were doing uh, Q and A videos a little while ago, and one of the things people asked was uh, what games are coming up on Lo-Fi Gaming. And the problem is, it would be dead easy for me to sort of go, oh, I'm going to play these games on Lo-Fi Gaming, and I'm also going, I'm just going to play, let's say, Stardew Valley, right? We all know Stardew Valley is a Lo-Fi game, but I'm going to play Stardew Valley, and um, by the end of the two hours, I'm going to know if it's a Lo-Fi game or not. I can't really do that with lo-fi gaming. What I want is I want there to be a safe space for people to go and know that they're going to watch just what I would consider to be lo-fi content. Um, let's take Gris, for example. Gris is a great example because it's, for all intents and purposes, uh, a lo-fi game. But, and it's a good game, don't get me wrong, it deals with some heavy subject matter and coming from someone who lost a parent early in life, uh, I can relate to some of the themes in Gris, and I can relate to some of the iconography. Absolutely perfect, right? It's a very good game, but there are some jumpy moments where the main character is chased by things, and is there's some jump scares, almost jump scares, and it just doesn't feel right that that would be in there. You know, it doesn't feel right that that sort of a lo-fi game with those in there. However, all of that was all discussed in the Discord. So if you're interested in the Discord, if you're new to the channel and you're interested in the Discord, I encourage you to check it out. <gasps> There's a weed in my eggplants. Come here. How dare you. So we are going to harvest some eggplants. Now, do I have to sell these? Oh, no. Okay. I just harvest them. So that took four days to grow. If I investigate these, uh, planted three days ago, needs water. So if I water them, I wonder how long it takes after picking to be pickable again. God, the language is hard sometimes. <laughs> English is so hard. 
Uh, I wonder how, what the sort of return growing rate is. There's a term for it and I can't remember what it is. Because <laughs> words are difficult sometimes. So we need some more I don't really want to plant, I don't want to buy anything and plant it right now. Because I really, really want to unlock that next gnome. That is a mugwort though, so it will pick up in one day and that will be one of three of our... Oh, we have a skill point available. I didn't even realise that. Massive chunk of the UI and I didn't realise it. Uh, Alright, let's go to tasks, see what the new task is. It's Grandpa Bob. Hi, grandchild. Good job with those eggplants. For additional income, you can buy a push mower and sell the grass to the community. Give it a try. Best, Bobby. Earn 40 garden coins selling grass. That's fine. We can do that. Because I got it. Oops. I'm not using my hand tool. I got it right here. And these give me 20 coins each. You know what that means, don't you? We've unlocked our next gnome. We've unlocked our next gnome. We've got so many coins. We're rolling in garden coins right now. Gnomes. Peter. Fred and Peter. A large, colourful gnome made of clay. Unlock. How much do you cost? 25 purchase. 100% <laughs> purchasing Peter the giant gnome. I'm expecting him to be like human size. Like, if he's not up here, <laughs> I'm going to be a bit disappointed. While we're here, pet the cat. That's what my cat does when I pet him. It's just little hearts. Those flowers are going to get well smashed. Right. Oh my god! P <laughs> 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 <Pete> is massive! <laughs> It's huge. He's a giant. It's bigger than my house. I don't think he'd fit in the door. It's as big as the door. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you need pride of place. You're gonna go over here as the the sentry. Oh my god, can I put you outside the garden? Oh no, Pete. No. Is that a slope? That's a slope. You're gonna fall if I put you there, aren't you? Oh, you'll stay there, just menacingly staring into the garden. <laughs> oh, my stomach hurts. <laughs> oh, no. Where did he go? Did you go to storage? <gasps> Where did Pete go? No. No. The game has stolen my gnome. Oh, no. Where did it go? Surely. You didn't... You just took it. You just popped it out of existence, didn't you? You just yoinked my gnome. That's unbelievable. <laughs> it's totally worth it. That was hilarious. <laughs> oh. Right. Okay, you <laughs> I can't believe I'm having to buy a second gnome. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. Well, I'm not putting him outside the garden anymore. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll catch. I'm ready. I know where it's coming from. Oh, there. Jump. <laughs> Wong! <laughs> He's humongous. Absolute chungus of a gnome. There you go. You can go. <laughs> you build a fence around him. Exact. Thank you, Sherry. Yoinking a man's huge gnome is just not done. At least buy me a drink first. <laughs> I said there might be younger viewers on this stream, so I have to keep it reasonably PG. <laughs> I can't believe you just took my gnome. That's so rude. You just stole my gnome. Right. Um, what else are we doing? Now, oh, there's new tasks. Oh, I need a new skill point. 
Wait. Oh no, I already had the new skill point, didn't I? I haven't spent it yet. <clears throat> Hi, grandchild. Grandpa Bob here. That's all I can teach you for now. I heard that the mayor does a lot of gardening in his free time. We wanted to invite him for dinner next weekend. I will ask him if he has any tips for you. Grandma asked if you could send us a few fresh vegetables so we could prepare a nice vegetable stew for the mayor. Uh, assemble a vegetable basket. Oh, best, Bobby. Assemble a vegetable basket for your grandparents. Four eggplants, eight mushrooms, and six peppers. Okay. I don't feel like that's going to be a, something I can do very quickly. Um, so, what am I doing most of at the moment? It's... Uh, tra trading, mowing, watering. No, none of that really. I'll be honest with you. I'll go agriculturalist because that increases the speed of harvesting speed of vegetables. There you go. So it might be less time. All right, Pete. <laughs> it's big Pete. Uh, well watered, harvestable in one day. Lovely. Uh, pickable in one day. Oh, okay. Let's buy some more mugwarts while we're here. 127 coins. We can definitely, probably, afford some more mugwarts. Two more mugwarts. Uh, how many of that? One, two, three, four, five. So I need four for that. I need four for that. That's fine. This is my grand plan a little while ago, but I didn't have the coins. And then I didn't know I didn't need I didn't know I needed the coins to save up for a giant gnome. <laughs> that gnome. Oh my lord. <laughs> uh, five, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> I'm so confused using the keyboard as a as hotkeys. Uh, five. One. Oh. Oh. Can I not place this here? Two. Three. Four. There we go. I mean, that's. Can I grab that instead? <laughs> no, I can't. I don't think I can uh, dig up. I don't want to dig up, I'll be honest. It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, perfect is nice, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Charin Riddick says, oh, by the way, one thing I love in Sunhaven is that it, that I didn't have in Stardew is such a simple thing. I can walk through trellises on my field. I cannot tell you how much that used to annoy me. <laughs> I'm like, I get it. It's realism, but also I'm playing a video game. I've just been spending, I've just spent 20 minutes, uh, like, fishing in lava at the bottom of a mine. <laughs> so how, how much realism do you want me to pour into this? Let me just walk through stuff that I place. Or at least let me set a marker for it so I can just walk through stuff. Give me no clip or something. Oh, I keep running out of water. Is my cat getting bigger? Or is my garden getting smaller? <laughs> like, to, be, to be honest, my garden looks smaller now that giant bee is watching over it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I need to buy more vegetables, don't I? <laughs> eh, god damn it. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's all about realism. Don't get me wrong. Concerned Ape, the developer of uh, Stardew Valley, does an absolutely legendary job. Heroic, even. But, I think there are some bits... I mean, obviously this is where modding comes in, but there are some bits and pieces that just... Once I get to a certain point in Stardew, I just want to take out all the fluff, and I just want to, um... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I just want to walk through walls. You know, I just want to get somewhere very, very easily. Here we go. <laughs> Don't talk to me or my son ever again. <laughs> Good day. Don't talk to me or my child ever again. <laughs> oh. 
Let's <laughs> put you back over there because if not, I'm not going to stop laughing every time I see that. Uh, pet the cat. Hi. Oh, I know. Oh, dear. Uh, Echo Alpha Exile says, what this garden needs are blue gnomes, and then another garden next door needs red gnomes. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, no shade on the grey work you did. No, no, absolutely not. There's no no shade on the Stardew Valley, uh, I remember many, many years ago. I've talked about this on stream before. Many, many years ago, um, my wife went away for a business trip, and I spent probably two or three solid days. I mean, I woke up early sat on the sofa, this was just after Stardew came out on Switch, sat on the sofa, played Stardew, fed the cats, occasionally fed myself, went to bed, got up the next day, played Stardew, and I just burned through Stardew for days and days and days on time. It's a fantastic game, and I wasn't bored of it ever, I was never bored of it. Ooh, what can I get? I get a bench! I unlock a bench. I can unlock a willy ball? A loyal companion? on the way to the ultimate garden doesn't like to be thrown. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna... I might buy one later. Uh, a bench made of metal and wood. Costs ten. I I really need to... focus on the, the things I need to buy. What do I need to buy? Mugwort is on its way. Harvest four eggplants. They're planted. Eight mushrooms and six peppers. I quite like that even. That tapping noise even sounds like a Mac keyboard. <laughs> uh, where am I? Oh, peppers. I don't, have any, I don't have any peppers. I can't unlock peppers. Harvest 10 eggplants. Cultivate a border of four fully grown peppermimises. Peppermimises? And own one extension? Jeez. You know how much, do you? Okay. Uh, then eight mushrooms. Eight mushrooms, please. Thank you. Now we get to see if these plants get smooshed. I thought there was something rising from the grass then. It wasn't. It was a shadow. <laughs> First mind clip of the day created and posted on the proof record. Excellent stuff. Ah, oh, it, seems, it seems fine. Grab the package. Pow. Oh, look, trash. Just what I wanted in my garden. Eh, I can't... I can't get past baby gnome. Does this knock this over? No, thank goodness. Oh, that would have been frustrating. Uh, what else was I going to buy then? I cannot remember. Ooh, pots and beds. Small pot made of clay. Hmm, interesting. Garden bench and sunshade. Garden shed. Like a shed shed? Throw a barrel 20 times. Throw willy 20 times. Alright, let's buy a... Let's buy a willy. Why not? When in doubt, purchase a willy. Willy incoming... Right. A loyal companion. It's just a ball. <laughs> That's all it is. It's just a ball. As far as I'm aware, it's just a ball. I don't think it's sentient. Uh, add to inventory or enable grid. Oh, throw. Yep. Goal! Spot ball! Yeah! <laughs> My incredibly tall jump. Who jumps that high? <laughs> Wish I could jump that high. Take Willy. That joke's gone far enough. And... Pow! Into space! Oh no, I'm going to lose it. Oh, I've lost it. Oh, now I'm going to have to go and knock on the neighbor's door. <laughs> this is why I wasn't allowed ball games as a kid. <laughs> God damn it. I lose more balls that way. Oh, an extension. 
A hundred and eighty. Jeez. Okay. Well, let's let's get our uh, mushrooms planted. Where's good for mushrooms? Do you reckon? They normally like they normally like dark and. Um, Peripheral wish for this new hit single over the fence and far away! <laughs> Thought I could hear one of our cats then. I can't. I can hear next door's baby. Uh, I'm gonna do him here, probably. I've got eight of them though, haven't I? I don't really want to do it under the drain pipe. That's a bit. God, it's getting almost dark. You can be leader of the mushrooms. That's what you can be. Right, now, do these take up one whole thing? Uh, oh, five, not eight. Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, look at those. They're massive. Um, so, one, uh, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ooh, eight. And then you can stand there. Well, actually, you can stand. There. Maybe. It's disable grid. I like the disable grid option. I really like that. Because sometimes in games, grids really are where I want them to be. Uh, what am I planting? That. Um, oh no. Grid me. I want grids when I'm planting. Oh, I've gotten this wrong completely. Oh well. We have a large patch of mushrooms. Erratically spaced mushrooms. What is this? They said they said put this in the trash. Nine coins. Excellent. I'm only slightly tempted to dig up my entire garden. Half of one day, well watered. Pet the cat. Absolutely. Well watered, well watered, well watered. Good. Everything's well watered. Including, but not limited to, myself. Don't forget to hydrate. Just a gentle reminder. You should probably... When was the last time you had a drink of water? You should probably have a drink of water. I say this as someone who normally hates drinking water, but hates feeling dehydrated even more. <laughs> Don't forget to drink your water. Oh, well, that looks all right. I like that. Wow, mugwort's are massive. Uh, I mean, yes, I'm going to pick it. Oh, oh, it's, oh, that's what you mean by single use. Yeah, I can only pick it once. Got it. Harvest these. Harvest these. Harvest these. Harvest these. Uh, and then get my watering can out. Do a little sprinkly sprink. Sprinkly sprink. A sp little sprinkle tinkle. That's, that's not what I meant to say in the slightest. One day I will think before I speak. But not today. I'm just wondering, you might be able to hear my um, glasses move on my headset. That. You might be able to hear that every now and then. So apologies if you can. Um, there is a workaround for that. It involves <laughs> putting straws on my glasses arms, which works. But for some reason today, um, makes more of a noise, which is weird. I tried it earlier, and it actually makes more of a noise with them on, where it never has before, ever. So I wonder if I could have like a proper little patch of mushrooms if I didn't use grid. And then I'd be able to like, um, water multiple at a time. I'm just trying to game the system now, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to hack, I'm trying to hack gardening. Maybe this game's to blame. I've had a feeling for ages now, <clears throat> excuse me, that I want to like buy some plant pots and some plants, maybe some vegetables, and just stick them in our little yard out back and just, you know, look after some plants. And I think, I think games like this are to blame. I think games like this have a lot to answer The societal impact of games like this is uncharted. <laughs> 
They make a great research paper from someone. Oh no, that means you need water, not you have water. I'll be honest, the level of detail in this game is actually really good. Look at the water in the watering can. I don't know if you can see that. If I'm, am I in the way? Just, nope, there. Just there. The level of water in the ice water can. You can see it shimmering in the light, which I think is really, really nice. I mean, obviously, it's not correct because it's empty, but I mean, I'm willing to let some stuff go. I think because I've played far, far worse simulators than this. Far worse in the way of this. Uh, grabby, grabby. Um, so I've got three weeds in the garden. There's one. Are you going to be near my actual things, my actual plants? Oh, yeah, there you are. Uh, where's the other one going to be? Near the bin? Nope. Near the mushrooms? <laughs> Big Pete, you seen any, uh, seen any weeds? Seen any weeds, Big Pete? Oh, there it is. It's a massive weed right in the middle of the flower bed. There we go. Uh, right, 96. Oh, we have a skill point. And I've just realised I have a run button. Fantastic. Because I instinctively pressed shift when I wanted to be faster. So, <clears throat> excuse me. What uh what should we go for? Florist maybe? We're doing we're doing flowers now, so increase the harvesting speed and flowers of uh, flowers. I'm still I think I'm still gonna go with agriculturalist. because uh, compost master means nothing to me right now. Trader is kind of across the board more money. Maybe that one. I don't know. Mowing means nothing to me at the moment. So maybe trader. Let's go with that. Compost master. Like I said, that was. I, I'm a fully trained compost master for different reasons that hopefully adults will understand. It's because I'm full of BS. That's why. Just don't tell anyone. Um, harvest in one day. Well watered. Well watered. Everything appears to be well watered. Oh, pet the cat. All important. Love you, giddy. And. 96 coins. I think that might be us for today. Probably just gonna go and rest for the day. <laughs> yes, Sharon ready. Yeah, that's exactly. That's exactly it. Can you imagine if your old job title was compost master? I mean, I'm sure someone's is. Look, eggplants. Everything needs a water. Are you harvestable? Planted two days ago. No, you're not. They're only babies. And none of these are harvest by that. Okay. <clears throat> uh, needs water. It's not the only one. I also need water. There we go. So I can. Oh no, I can do two at a time. So far. Always pet. I am stunned. It's quarter past six. I am stunned that one or more of my cats aren't in this room screaming for food. They normally get fed at seven. I mean, they want food all the time, but they normally get fed at seven. I think maybe I shouldn't have organised them like this. There's that sort of... Not for any specific reason, other than aesthetics. You know? But I'm starting to think I should have maybe had the big tall mugwarts at the back and the 
little ones at the front. I'm also thinking that, <coughs> excuse me, I'm also thinking that, uh, what's the word, what am I thinking? Come on, Brian, what are you thinking? Uh, gridding, there we go, that's the word. Oh, good save, no one noticed. Um, gridding is definitely going to be turned off while I do the rest of this. Because I think the space, <coughs> excuse me, I don't think p uh, pets, plants being together, that's because I glanced over a chat and I saw uh, pet, um, I don't think the plants being close together is going to be an issue at all. I think they physically can't fit them. I don't think if you're, they're too close they won't grow. You know, I don't think that's in the programming. I mean, I could be wrong. I'd be nice to be wrong about that, actually. That would be a really nice touch. <clears throat> there was a um, garden simulator. Uh, was it a garden simulator on Xbox Game Pass? Oh no, Power Wash Simulator, that's what I played. Oh no, Lawn Mower Simulator, there we go. Lawn Mower Simulator, that was, that was pretty decent. Power Wash Simulator just got very dull very quickly. A lot of people use Power Wash Simulator as a chill, chill out game. And I'm just like, this is not chill, this is boring. But then I'm a lo-fi hipster, so what do I know? Uh, Pepper Cat. That's what I know. Oh, spend the skill, spend the skill point. <coughs> That's what I need to do. And find the weeds as well, because I didn't find the weeds. I have a skill point. What did I use my last one in? Trader. Let's go trader. More money. Uh, where be weeds? There's one. <laughs> There's the other. It's quite cool that it, it properly has... Ah, I used to use the flowers when I was younger. Like, proper flowers, not just weeds. Because, look, it, I mean, it looks like a flower. I mean, it is a flower, but it's also a weed. It's categorised as a weed. Well watered. Well watered. Okay, cool. I think that's everything, because we're saving up. I want to save up some stuff. I want to buy... Well, actually, we need peppers, don't we? Eventually. We need peppers eventually. How do we get peppers again? Chili seeds, pepper seeds, peppers. So we need to own one garden extension and cultivate a border of four... A border? Cultivate a border of four fully grown pepperomias. Pepperomias. A border. Alright, cool. Let's buy that and then see what that means by border. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> that, that gnome. Where are you? Oh! <laughs> Now, did anything get smushed then? No, good. Excellent. Oh, excellent. Trash. Just just what I want. Delivery people to leave in my house. In my garden. Uh, was there any more trash? No. Uh, right. So where do... How do... Okay. A border, though. Like a border border? Like, you want it here? Definitely free click. One... Ooh. Ooh, throw the gold nugget into the garbage container. Okay. Good, I did do the right thing earlier. I just kind of assumed that I had to throw it in the garbage I assume this is the make money out of this item I'm holding bin. So, five. Yeah, see, it, it automatically stops me putting it any closer than that. But I can rotate it, which is quite nice. So they're all going to look slightly different. And that is enough space for four of them. Whereas previously, I'd need loads of space. Yeah, I think the free click is the way to go. They're not perfect, perfect, but I'm not looking for them. It's a garden. It's not a, it's not a technical drawing. Um, four. Oh no, I have water. Oh, I'm out of water. Big cash stretch. I 
swear that cat's getting bigger. I mean, cats do get bigger, but I'm aware that's how that's how growth happens, but not overnight. <laughs> it's like, is there not a game? Is it Demonologist? The game Demonologist. If you stay in the lobby, the cat gets bigger and bigger and bigger and becomes massive. <laughs> Because its cycle, its animation cycle goes to like a food bowl and then walks around and then goes to like a food bowl and then wanders around. And it, eventually it just becomes this massive like pudding of a cat. I will refill that. Although having a an on hand full watering can overnight doesn't sound like a very sanitary thing to do. Uh, yeah, that's all we've got to do today. Call it a day. So while we do this bit, I'm going to pop myself on mute because I am going to have a stream snack. Um, so you won't hear my voice for a little bit. If you also have a stream snack, feel free to indulge. Or a drink, or a cup of tea, or something like that. Ooh, just in time for a new skill point. I'm always very conscious. I was always told when I started live streaming, never eat or drink on stream. And that's so not true. Like, from a mental health point of view, the advice I got, and not from any specific person, mind you, but from just generally the industry of streaming and content creation it was so negative towards your health uh, your health didn't matter in this light as long as you're producing good content your health doesn't count and i think that's really really bad i think it's really sad and that we can i clean this now no um i think it's sad that we're promoting that i think it's bad that because i remember hearing things like you need to stream for you know six hours minimum no breaks you can't take a break can't you know take a toilet break or anything like that otherwise you'll lose viewers and that'll be that'll be you sorted that'll be you done uh don't eat or drink because it's gross um, never stop being on like always be a always be talking and interacting with stuff and always be never be sad always look happy when you're streaming now you 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 lot have seen me i'm very pleased that i you know you lot have seen me play games where i have been miserable <laughs> whilst playing them um and not necessarily just because they're bad games just because i've been in a bad place or i just needed to work through some stuff or whatever right i absolutely don't mind that and i'm fortunate that i have a loving community that accepts that and embraces it and i just i don't know i guess i wish there were more people like this community in the world because you're all brilliant we have a skill point oh pet the cat pet the cat pet the cat hi yeah oh i didn't harvest magplants silly me 
Absolutely showing. Your health matters the most. I can do with less content. You can't do without your health. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> hey, Rude No X4! Compost Master equals King Tish. <laughs> Where is this? Oh I, oh, I can pick the mugwort too. That's why it's clicking. Got it. Welcome in, Rudin. How are you? I always enjoy your company. Uh, how do you grab weeds? There we go. Oh, there's a <gasps> a new task. Oh, because we've done the mugwort one. Got it. Uh, show tasks. Because that may influence what I do next in my skill points. Neighbor Jean. Hi again! Oh, thank you for delivering those amazing flowers. Is It is my best friend's birthday the week after next, and I desperately need some fresh looking flowers. Can you help out? Pick five primroses. I mean, I can try. Um, I'm probably going to go for florists this time. Are these pickable? How do you examine? No. Pickle in one day. Oh, I already have some of those there. I I planted some over here, thinking they were different. Oh well. Um, let's go primrose. <gasps> we can afford an extension. <sighs> Should we afford an extension? I mean, that is something we also we want to do. Oh. <laughs> a rude no X4. Also, I figured you were taking care of your brain. Glad I was right. And glad to see you laughing and having a good time again. It's been a while. Thank you, Rude Now. Thank you very much. It has. It's been a it's been a weird road for streaming. Um I would say in the last two years, maybe, it's been a lot better. But there were some real rocky moments and there were some times when I didn't really know who I like could talk to about it, if that makes sense. Um Obviously, my wife's always open to this sort of stuff, but there were there were definitely times when it wasn't that I couldn't talk to someone. It's that I didn't know how to talk to someone about stuff. And that, I think, is a real systemic issue. That I, I never knew how to process like feelings and emotions and all that sort of stuff. And just being, having a space. Thank God for therapy, right? But having a space where I can just say stuff in a confidential judgment free area and go and process it and go through it and unpack it and all that sort of stuff and kind of know what what I actually think of the thing that's that I'm feeling am I sad am I uh, anxious am I depressed am I angry am I all of the above you know just going through all of that stuff Normally at the moment I'm just tired because I work too hard, but that's, that's right now. That's not going to slow down anytime soon. Um, but you are right. We def we definitely need more space. Oh nope, that was the wrong one. A chase. How do? Uh, wait. How do we? How do we? How do we do that? And I'd like to think a rude now X4 has been. You've been a member for a long time now. Like, you've been a subscriber for a long time, and you've been a community member for a longer time, I think. Um, where does this... How does this work? Why am I getting a package for this? But I think... <laughs> that's the escape key again. Two. There we go. Pick up that piece of wood. And, uh, yeah, I know a lot of people who, you know, you've been there through a lot of different times is it wait which oh it's this bit got it i'll unlock that in a minute um yeah i think probably around five or six years ago i was probably in the worst place i was with content creation and i just kind of gave up i just didn't i don't want to do anymore i don't want to do anything oh pickable in one day but well watered so that's good and it's it's difficult to get yourself out of that place. I'm very fortunate that I've got friends, family, professional help, and also outlets like this. Outlets where I can play stupid simulator games or ghost hunting games and just, you know, I can do a no cam, no mic, no chat stream and people still tune in, people still talk, but they talk to each other, do you know what I mean? And have that Discord and yeah, just, 
I don't know. I it, I appreciate streaming in the community. Oh, someone set explosives off in my garden. That's unfortunate. Oh no. There appears to have been some sort of attack. Ah! Ah! I'm not a fan of people who set off fireworks in the morning. That's not a thing you should do during the day. Oh, I assumed I was getting rid of those trees. I assumed that was a thing I was doing. I wanted to sell them, to be honest with you. Uh, let's just see if I can make this look a bit better than it does. Well, it's slightly better. Yes, Sir Rudinell. So Rudinell says, well, being from the UK, you all got the stiff upper lip stuff. Uh, wife died, kids won't answer the phone, locked up at home, suck it up, your grandfather had bombs dropping. What are you whinging on about? Yeah, that sort of mentality really irks me that people have. Um, I'll be glad when the world dumps this toxic BS and realizes we've got to take care of number one. Namely, that squatter who won't get out of won't get out of your head and let you sleep at night. I'm so glad you're moving past that. I wish more people would as well. Me too. I genuinely, it's been an uh, an interesting journey, and I definitely I couldn't have I couldn't have done it without realizing uh, who I was as an individual, um, recognizing the support, the sheer level of support I had around me from my wife, my friends, my family. Um, like I said, professional help as well. That is invaluable. And even if you don't think it will help, because I'll be honest, there was a there was a time when I first started going to therapy, I was like, this is rubbish. And this is not, I even still go and I, I feel like I've just filled air for an hour, but it's air I needed to fill. And that's, that's the most important thing. It's a session I needed to, what is that? Oh, it's just a, it's just a red bag. Um, even if you think you don't need therapy, having access to that if you can bit of a game changer it takes a while don't get me wrong i think i went through like four therapists before i um before i found one i liked and trusted but i'm a big big advocate for it and I'm very vocal about it as well as you all know i don't show up um but even things like at work and stuff i'll talk about it Hey, I watch you stream a game, no mic, no cam, because funny enough, that's just what I needed. Some me time, but not totally isolated. Weird how the world works sometimes. Good, I'm really glad. I, to be honest with you, I don't mind doing those. Those are really, really easy to do. I mean, these are easy to do. But those are like, if I'm playing for like an hour or 40 minutes or something like that, even on, um, oh God, what are those things called? Consoles, there we go. <laughs> oh, my brain. Um... Even on consoles, sometimes I will just stick, you know, the stream, go live on stream on the console, and I'll just play gameplay for a bit. And people seem to enjoy it, so yeah. yeah. Uh, I vocal too because none of us are okay. We've all got problems, we all need to deal with them. Yeah, and it's not, I, I honestly agree with you. I, I don't think anybody's immune to it. Um, I think it's the only thing I would challenge there is. I think it's more about, for me anyway, understanding those problems and more where they came from and why they're there. So there's a lot of um, uh, kind of neuroses that I've got from growing up in certain situations or coming from certain backgrounds or anything like that. Is there any more items I can grab here? No, I don't think there is. Can I grab a bit of wood? Oh, I can. I can use the force. Um, and just saying, I think coming to terms with the fact that I won't fix. I think that's why I want. I want it to be fixed. Um, and interestingly, that's that's where the the D and D character I'm playing for, Ghost of Saltmarsh Silvo, our um, resident uh, half elven, uh, aberrant mind sorcerer. He he wanted. So his uh, mission is to get a wizard to fix him so that he's not got magic in him anymore. And that's the same motivation I had. I, I wanted a therapist to fix me. I didn't want to feel broken anymore. I didn't want to feel like I couldn't process emotions or I didn't have any more room in the tank sort of thing. It's, and it's stupid. It's just not the way I want. I should have done it. I'm not saying that's true for everyone, but I just 
now realise I needed to understand myself more and sort of find my own sense of identity because through most of my life I just not had chance to. And now I do, and it's still difficult. It is definitely still difficult, but I've got a wonderful house, an absolutely fantastic wife um, who loves me indefinitely. I've got two. I've got one great cat, one alright cat. I'm joking. I love both. <laughs> Um, I've got a good job I've got the ability to do stuff like this um, and yeah I'm just I'm in a much better place than I was a number of years ago and now it's just kind of um, trying to build myself back up a little bit rather than anything else and it's, that's been years in the making don't get me wrong that's, that's going to be more years in the making but it's more it's a lot easier than it used to be. Like, I remember I used to have panic attacks before streams. And even during streams. Like, when I was doing the Godcast, I got physically unwell more than once. Like, during the Godcast. Because of my anxiety. Although that was that was multiple reasons. But, like, I'm not going to go into those specifically on this stream. But that was multiple external factors. Um, and people involved that didn't make that too comfortable to work as a working environment um he was the tentacle wizard right yes he is the tentacle wizard good to do you, good to hear you are overall doing better i am doing better thank you <laughs> one great cat one all right cat being the odds <laughs> being the odds i've had at best a tolerable cat no both our cats are great to be honest with you um i phoenix bless him who you can see if I can just quickly alt tab out of this. So we've got Hugo and Phoenix. And I'm just going to stick a vibes in there as well. So Hugo is the black cat in my emote. And Phoenix is the ginger cat in my emotes. Undoubtedly, Hugo is my wife's cat and Phoenix is my cat. We They're not separate. They weren't separate when we uh, got them. We got them separately, but we were together when we got Hugo and we were together when we got Phoenix. But... Yeah, Phoenix is absolutely my shadow, and Phoenix, uh, Hugo is absolutely my wife's shadow. Uh, but the only time Phoenix is annoying, the only time either of them are annoying, is when Phoenix is uh, waking us up, singing the song of his people at 5am. I'll be honest, I, I don't hear I hear of, but I don't normally hear it. He doesn't normally wake me up, I'm quite a heavy sleeper. Um, but he does wake my wife up quite a lot. <laughs> or Hugo will sit on one of our like pillows or one of our heads trying to get into the bed because he's cold so he wants to lay between us he's a proper baby <laughs> he really is <laughs> but like even that I had a conversation in therapy recently about how important the cats are to me and I think it's because even through all the good and bad and weird situations the cats have always given unconditional love like unconditional love They've always been there it doesn't matter if you're having the worst day the best day or you're you cannot mentally process anything anymore as long as the cat's not like in a mood with you or been to the vet or something they're gonna love you uh, let's switch over to my hand tool grab this i don't know if i want to save these bags just in case i need to do anything with them I'm not 100% sure. I might save them for now because they're worth 20 gold each. 20 gold. 20 coins each. Uh, but yeah, you're right, Sharon. Um, uh, Silvo is the aberrant mind sorcerer, so the tentacle wizard. And there's a, there's a, a lot of similarities between sort of my psychological journey and uh, Silvo's current adventuring journey. Because, um, you know, right what you know. Uh, so it's going to be interesting seeing that sort of unfold a little bit. Did I water these? Yes, I did. Good. <laughs> Aruna says, My aunt has a new kitten I named Meatloaf. Brilliant name. Uh, she showed me a video of him with Mega Zoomies and asked what his name should be. I said Meatloaf. He goes like a bat of hell for about two hours a day straight right after lunch, then goes back to sleep for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Also, you need therapy to overcome the gaming thing. I was buying a thing at a yard sale last weekend, and it was my reflex. By reflex, I asked how much gold it was. <laughs> That's fair enough. I don't know if I've ever. I don't know if I've done that. I do. I do call chores house quests. Like a hundred percent, those are house quests. Um, and I'll say like, oh, I've got a new skill point. Uh, I will say like, I've got new side quests to do and stuff like that. <laughs> so that, there's a lot of that. Uh, oh, I, oh, I should have spent it in mowing, shouldn't I? I tell you what, let's put it in trader. Get ourselves a bit more money. We've got new unlockable items in the shop though. <laughs> Five electrum, I would have totally tipped to 20 if they'd have come out with something like that. <laughs> so we need some primroses. These these eggplants are doing marvelously. I wonder if we can plant some more of these and get a proper like production line of eggplants going. How much are they to plant? <gasps> We've got so many unlockable things. Oh, is this? Oh, of course. This is because we did the thing. Own a garden extension. Unlock. Own a garden extension. Unlock. Own a garden extension. Unlock. A brush! We have a brush! And a compost bin. Compost master. Unlock. Unlock. So it doesn't cost anything to unlock this stuff. But we now have to purchase them if we want it. <gasps> a brush! With the brush you can change the colour and decorations of objects. So that's why it explains it's 500 gold. Warring can normal. 25. Fair. Oh my god, push mowers, those are so nice if you can get a good one. I have never used a good push mower in my life. I think I've only ever used one push mower, and it was uh, at the childhood home. And, was, and I make that sound a lot more romantic than it was. Um, but yeah, it was not a good mower. So when we, when we first got a garden, um, my initial reaction was, we're buying an electric mower. Like, that's 100% it. We're buying electric. And a strimmer as well. That's why I really... I said this before earlier. Um, I really miss gardening. I miss... I don't miss gardening. That's... Scratch that. I don't miss gardening. I miss mowing the lawn. That's what I miss. <gasps> we can unlock peppers. Fantastic. How much do peppers cost? 14. How much do I plant? Cost? Six. How many peppers did we need? Uh, six peppers. That's the menu. I didn't need that. Um, what was I doing? Peppers, seeds, eggplants. There we go. Oh, oh I've forgotten how many I needed. Six. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, brain. Six. So I need. Oh, I can't afford six. Arr! Tell you what. Let's just blow it all on eggplants. Whoa, that's a that's a bit much. Let's get like another four. All right. You have used a push mower that's over a hundred years old. Spoiler alert, it wasn't a good one. I can't imagine why. <laughs> Where's the Amazon delivery? Oh, there we go. Well, to be fair, that's more like Yodel or Hermes. Plonk. Oh, I can pick these. Brilliant. I might just keep this fenced off as my landing area for my items, to be honest with you. Oh, mushrooms. Mushrooms! Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Repeat. <laughs> oh, that gnome. Uh, oh, planted two days ago needs water. Fair. Oh, I think I need a wee. How many? I have two more weeds sticking around somewhere. Harvest eggplants, harvest eggplants. Oh, I may as well harvest those while I'm here. Yum. Yum. The requisite gnome has seen way too much crap. Yep. That gnome has seen some stuff. Look at him. Thousand yard stare. Good old Pete the gnome. Oh, Pete the gnome and Fred, I think his name was. Where's... Oh, there it is. These weeds are really hard to see. Is it around here? Is it going to be in here? No. Is it going to be tucked away in here somewhere? No. 
Uh, oh no, I, I got it. I got the. I saw. I got all the things. Um, standard. Pet the cat. Lovely. Plant. A pick. Five primroses. So the peppers. Oh we, no, I've I've completely forgot what I was doing them. So dig. Dig diggy. Diggy diggy. And then diggy diggy. And that's that's basically under the drain, but I don't think that that worries me. I don't think it's gonna worry the game. One two three. I like how I can make them look all different. Four. There we go. Uh watering can. Oh it's full of water. Now normally <laughs> this this would be a problem for me because I would empty the watering can and then refill it. That's fine. He plans something that needs a ton of water. Problem solved. Yeah, solid. <laughs> That's how water butts work. Ain't no butt like a water butt. Oh, there we go. Well, I've got oh new unlockable items. We've I've not really explored much of the shop. I wonder what we need to get the next gnome. Oh my goodness. Oh, can you imagine if they get bigger? Bigger than Big P over there. Whew. Mercy. Okay, I'm starting to understand why sprinklers are a thing in this game. Oh no, my keyboard is on low battery. Oh no, curses. <laughs> That's not very good, is it? Let's just plug this in. Just, oh dear. I didn't anticipate that. <clears throat> plug you in, fortunately. We have the technology. Final gnome is the boss fight. You, you place it. It's 12 stories tall and the breath weapon. Oh god. <laughs> How's the battery on this doing? I'm going to assume the battery on this is fine. Who knows? I can always get another plug. Or another mouse, in fact. Actually, I don't think I have the USB ports for another mouse. <laughs> so, fun news about the uh, stream, which I don't think anyone... Oh, hello, Hugo. Speaking of cats, hello. Uh, you could have just come in the door normally. You didn't need to parkour through. Um... I'm now no longer, I did mention this a little while ago, but I'm now no longer using the Mac Mini for any level of streaming. This is all run off of the Skunk Works PC, which I built on stream a while ago. Um, but I did upgrade the graphics card recently. Uh, I think, oh no, I haven't released a video for that yet. The video for that is coming. <laughs> but it does mean I'm now purely a PC stream person, which means I can now do things like... Um, use my GoXLR properly. So, for example, I've got all of my samples, all of my sound samples working properly. Um, I do have a new sound sample. Does anybody remember Hassan Chop from the Bugs Bunny cartoons? <laughs> I don't know how loud this is going to be, so apologies if this is super duper loud. Let me just... <laughs> Let me just go onto my mixer and turn this down a bit first. <laughs> samples, let's say 60%. I have no idea how loud that was. It was very quiet in my ears, but it's uh, one of the sound samples that I heard on a song recently, and I'm just like, I 100% need that for streams. <laughs> and now I've moved a window, now everything has moved, and now everything's wrong. <laughs> Barely heard it, I think it would have been fine before. Okay, that's... Yum. The sun shot. There you go. That's either worked or blown someone's ears off. So, RIP headphone users, if you are out there. There we go. Now I can see all of the lovely messages. Oh God, I've minimised my chat. <laughs> can't see the lovely messages. I can see the lovely donations. No, I can't see the messages. There we go. We are sorted. So new unlockable items. So what's what needs to they're well watered. I've done some impromptu thingy. What is it? 
impromptu. Ah, there we go. At least you didn't hear it over the music. Uh, just loud enough to hear it over the music. Didn't drown it out. Good. It's a sound effect. I suppose that's what it's supposed to be. Um, but yeah, if you plug it into a Mac, the entire GoX Large goes, meh, doesn't work. It's basically a fancy sound card if you plug it into a Mac. So what was happening, um, and feel free to use this opportunity to take a nap because this is very boring technical uh, streamy stuff. Um, what was happening was I was processing all of the sound stuff on the PC, but because I didn't have the equipment to stream and game at the same time, I was then pumping all of the audio and video from the PC to the Mac via a capture card and then streaming from the Mac to the internet to your eyeballs and ear holes. That's what was happening. Um, and that was good. The, the good thing was I was using less bandwidth. The bad thing was um, I was very much limited to what I could do on the PC. So now I can do more stuff because it's all on one thing. Fun times. <gasps> A leak seed. Unlock the leak seed. A stone. Oh, how much are you? Ten. Oh, bar stone. Topiary. Oh, spiral topiaries. Well, yeah, ha Herbert. Herbert the gnome. What do we need? Have 200 garden coins. Build a sunshade. You insane. What is this? Wooden support and a wooden floor? What? Wooden floor? A low wooden support element. A wooden floor. What? What is all this? I don't understand what this is. Can I craft in this? <laughs> sprinkler. What do I need for a sprinkler? <coughs> Two garden extensions. Oh my god. Oh, I can unlock more pots, which is good. And oh, I can unlock the prerequisites. I've unlocked the prerequisite for the next area, for the next extension. The second. Are oh, they both 680? Right area, left area, front area, right side, locked and locked. Okay. But 680 coins is what we're aiming for. Got it. Sunshade. Sunshade. Build four wooden floors. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> uh, oh, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to buy one of these. We're going to buy one of these. Because I don't know how these work. So we may as well experiment, right? And we're going to mess around with these a little bit. And then I'm going to take a bio break while I leave you with some lovely lo fi music. Um, any. Oh! Oh, oh God! <laughs> Came from three directions at once! Right, so wooden support. Does that just. sit there? That just sits there. Can I knock this over by accident? I can knock this over by accident. What on earth is the point of this? <laughs> this trebuchet delivery. I keep coming for our gnomes. <laughs> uh, I'm not 100% sure how useful that's going to be. Let's place, throw, near, far, rotate, add to inventory, and enable grid. Enable grid. All right. If I stick it there... I can still knock it over if I walk into it. I know that feels a bit pointless. A stone and a wooden floor. Now this I can get on board with. Uh, this is definitely not right. There we go. Can I put this here? Nope, apparently not. See, this is why I'm going to disable gridding. So I can get as close as I want. Oh, we're going to build some decking. We're gonna build some decking. Do, 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 do. So this is kind of how I expect decking to work in real life. It's not how it works in real life. I've looked at it. It's definitely not how it works in real life. But that's how I expect it to work. So this is pointless. This is just a pointless. This can go in the pointless piece of wood pile over here. <laughs> Bye. Donk. Oh. Oh, everyone makes a, an excellent point. Uh, well, if it works like in the real world, you dig a hole, stick it in the ground, what you'd call a post and beam foundation. Uh, 
that. That's an excellent idea. I wonder if I need a different thingy though. Must need some quality cork for that deck. Absolutely. <laughs> my my DIY skills would be nothing without cork. <laughs> Maybe I need a better shovel. Who knows? Right now it's just going to be the ritualistic post. That can be. <laughs> that can be. What was this guy's name? Dave. There we go. He's on the lookout to make sure no one comes for our anything else. Do you need a hole digger? Well, I might need a hole digger. Oh, I'm going to have a deck in. Right, I'm going to go and have a quick bio break. So I'm just going to quit this a second. Oh, I can call it a day from the menu as well. Lovely. Uh, audio down, down, down. Excellent stuff. And I am going to see you in, I would say, five to ten minutes. So... Stay safe. If you want to go get a drink, go get a drink. Feel free. Um, and uh, just, yeah, I'll see you in five or ten minutes. Bye-bye.
Mental health problems affect one in four of us. Join mind now in the fight for mental health. A donation of £20 could help 167 people take their first steps in getting mental health support through Minds Booklets. £40 could help keep Minds a supportive online community side by side, open for another hour, helping to connect people and feel less alone. So um, I was on my way back, but I then got distracted by the fact that my wife had just put some shelves up because she's a DIY hero. Um, and also, uh, I had to eat a rich tea biscuit because I'm British and it's the law. So that's why I'm, I'm here now. So we'll go back to the menu. Yes, music, sound effects, music, there we go. I'm pretty sure that's where the volume was before those adverts played. I think so, anyway. Continue. Right, what are we doing? Yes, so, yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. A donation of £40 can aid uh, Mind's service side-by-side, -side, or the online community side-by-side, -side for... Oh, I want to remember. I want to remember what the person said, but I can't remember now because I'm too distracted by decking and stones. But it can help. It can definitely help. A stone. Lovely. Dunk. Everyone loves some stones. Oh, alas, your surprise failed. Oh, I'm sorry, Echo Alpha. I'm, I'm sorry about that. What is that? Looks like a giant boulder. So, 91 coins. I'm just going to get rid of these uh, sacks of grass here because I think these will give us a nice healthy boost of income. I've invested in grass. Ooh, excellent stuff sharing really. Good news everyone, I can now make ice cream in Sunhaven. <laughs> <laughs> made with the finest ingredients like pureed sentient snowmen, hence the name Ice Scream. Excellent. I like what you did there. These are all well watered. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much close to the end of this day on a. Look at this cat. Look at my cat. Look at it. Yes. Yeah, I definitely need some, some trimming, doesn't it? Uh, there's no other tasks for us and no skill points, so we're going to call it a day. Day nine. <clears throat> oh my goodness, what's happened here? Loads of, loads of grass has grown in one, oh no, several patches in the garden. We've had an outbreak of grass. Ugh. Gross. Okay, we'll sort that out in a minute. So firstly, Make the money. Uh, grow the money. <laughs> do, 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 do. Water your eggplants. Hello. <laughs> Heard a weird meow. Oh, I'm out of water. RP. <laughs> Might have to purchase a bigger watering can if it's not too expensive. If we can afford it, obviously. You know, I like the mowed grass better than the un the unmowed grass better than the mowed one. That's, I mean, you know, everyone's entitled to their opinion. 
It does sort of look like a green carpet when it's unmowed. But I like, with grass, I like the the neatness of it, I think. I think I'd, I'd lounge around on this grass more than I'd lounge around in this grass, you know? Oh, there's a weed. A weed. Oh, whoops. So close. So close to watering all my eggplants. Curses. <laughs> Lovely. Right, give me that weed. Where is it? There it is. Get in the bin. How many more weeds are in here? There's two weeds in the garden somewhere. I don't know where they are. Needs water planted three days ago. Okay. So here's some community-based feedback for you. <clears throat> oh, just sit. Do what all the corkers do and sit on my own leg so it goes dead. Um, what would be the preference for people? Would you like one channel where all of my streams go? This is YouTube I'm talking about, right? So one channel where all of my stream and content goes. Or, that's option A. Or... Would you like multiple channels where my streams all happen here? But if it's a spooky stream, it goes to a spooky channel. If it's a chill stream, it goes to a chill channel. And if it's a tech stream, it goes to a tech channel. That's option two. What would be your preference? I just had to water a rock. If you had a content creator, is that a weed in the hedge? No. If you had a content creator that does a lot of variety based stuff, what would your preference be if they did a lot of weird and wonderful things? Just follow that creator and just consume what they make? Or would you want a specific channel? I mean, I've kind of already made a decision here, but I'm interested to know what people's thoughts are. A rude now with a solid, solid statement there. I would do one channel and multiple playlists if I did anything personally. I think I tend towards a more centralized approach, but I don't mind either way too much. That's fair. I think I'm still missing. Oh no, I have picked up the weed. Oh, okay. There was there was two weeds. I've got both. So, 175 coins. We need to do some mowing as well. Because random grass growth is a thing. I'm going to make myself like an obstacle course with those sticks. <laughs> uh, more than one channel have all the headaches of dealing with getting each channel its own URL and all that nonsense. And if it's about YouTube, splitting up usually works better for the algorithm. I mean, that's fair. Come on, out the way. You can do your big cat stretch somewhere else. Come on. Fine, I'll just mow around you. I think to get more what they call organic discovery. Oh no, I've knocked. Oh, whoa, no. Does this work if I bump the... Oh no, the mower's a ghost. Excellent. Um, to get more what they call like organic exposure. Just turn my head. But it helps to have, you know, one channel with one subject matter that I've seen anyway. However, I'm now starting to notice content creators that have, um, oh God, no, that wasn't, uh, that have channels of multiple styles, but do the do the whole playlist thing. Like I, I follow a, a Phasmophobia streamer called Insim, um, who I only know them through Phasmophobia, but they've done tons of stuff, but they've got a Phasmophobia playlist that I found them through. And they've done loads of other bits and pieces. And yeah, maybe, if it works for them, maybe I should just emulate them, if that makes sense. Not in a personality sense, but in a more, way like, that that approach works, I guess. And I guess, I guess I've seen other people do the same thing as well. 
it's not organic discovery, that's just how their algorithm is tweaked to work. Oh yeah, fair enough. And yeah, I generally prefer the playlist approach. I think that's I think that's fair. I think having a peripheral mic channel with, you know, a spooky playlist and a chill playlist and stuff like that. Because, like, if I do some coding stuff, I'd want it on my channel, but I don't think it would fit on the same playlist as, like, this stream, for example. This stream's going directly onto charity fundraisers. There's going to be a channel for that. There's going to be a channel. There's going to be a playlist for that. Um, and I will... Oh, I cannot get to that at all. Can I move this bin? No, I can't. So, yeah, I think you're right. What else do I need to do? Is that well watered? Everything's watered. Everything's sorted. This is now in the way. As is this uh, hedge. Oh, that's women toy. Cute. 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 Oh, God, there's more stuff to mow. So grass grows under a hedge. Actually, that's true. Grass does grow under a hedge. <laughs> now I have this big, weird, bald patch in the ground. And Pete's just sat here doing nothing. Um, so let's move you, Pete, over here. And let's... Is there a way I can, like, revert the earth? Revert the earth. Revert the earth! Uh, if I just dig this entire section now and make this a garden. Grass goes everywhere. It possibly can. This is true. This is very true. I forget the grass can grow literally everywhere. That's a whole other game. <laughs> Revert the earth. Quickly. Uh, right. It's all as well tilled, I think is the term. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Uh, straight enough. Nope, oh, nope. That's not my hand. That's my magnifying glass, obviously. Wow, that was 40-something gold. Wow, I'm gaining loads of coins for these. I think I only gained a few. That's that trader skill in uh, operation there. So, normal watering can, 25. Plants only grow when they receive water. Use water can to water your plants. Small. All right, let's buy a bigger watering can. But we do need some more seeds. So, peppers, we wanted eight of these, didn't we? No, six of these. Six of these? Oh, God, I can't remember now. Yeah, six peppers. Nope, that's the menu. Six of those. They take two, oh, two days. It's like nine days to grow. Oh, they might take nine days to grow. They take two days to grow and two days to regrow, I think. I don't, I don't know what these symbols mean. We get some leeks as well. Get some leeks, some peppers, eggplants. We've already got. We haven't unlocked anything else. From the time or where off? No. Uh, fences. I quite like the idea of fences, but I don't know how many I'd need. So let's just get like five. And now I've got no money. It's not true. I do have money. But. Um, let's turn this around. Boop. Where are my pla where are my packages? Come on. Nope, there's one. <laughs> Incoming! Oh, I cannot hold anymore. Okay, so what does this look like then? Okay, so if that goes like there. That's all right, isn't it? That's not bad. Quite like that. Can I go in there, do you reckon? <laughs> nope. <laughs> dunk, 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 dunk. i rotate this one so they don't touch. Well, they shouldn't touch. Well, that's a bit better. There we go. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. What am I doing? Five, six, seven, eight. Dun, 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 dun. So originally, a while ago, just to let you in on a spoiler, 
I was contemplating making separate channels for all of my content. Like all of the lo-fi stuff would go on lo-fi gaming, all of the spooky stuff would go on screaming at a joypad, etc, etc. Oh, that's basically my whole bar. That's unfortunate. Um, but I think it's very, very fair to now. Oh no, that's stored in here. Um, to say it's just easier to have one channel and just go through uh, different playlists, to be honest with you. So if I store that meow, whoops, four, meow, and six, what does six look like? Oh, it is, we've, we've legitimately had that exact watering can. <laughs> Not joking. <laughs> I've had both of these watering cans. This is crazy. Um, seven. Let's go that off. Oh, peppers. I'd love to grow peppers. One. Two. Three. Four. New skill point available. Lovely. Five. Oh, I didn't. I didn't dig that earth properly, did I? That bit there. Uh, so five. There we go. Um, so we've got those, and we've got some leeks as well. Four. Ooh, leeks. Wow, I never knew leeks grew like that. I'm not. I'm honestly not sure why I expected leeks to grow like, but that's not it. Uh, one. Two. Three. Four. Good. I need some more fences, like one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, maybe four more pieces of fence. I reckon four more pieces of fence, and we can probably get another bit of decking too. Four more pieces of fence. Where's the decking gone? Decking? Decking. Lovely. <coughs> Oh, cool. Leeks and onions look alike. Uh, like stiff grass. Leeks just less bulky, if I recall correctly. Nice. Right, are you going to knock this fence down? Don't hit my cat. Good lord. You psychopath. What else did they order? Oh, a decking, of course. Thanks, brain. I know. There we go. Oh, I guess I don't need that bit. Okay, well, can I store this in here? Deposit. There we go. Uh, and now Pete is going to be custodian of this. Puzzle versus player. I like it. Grab that package. Now, I'm going to guess if I put it on top of it, it's going to go weird. Yeah. It absolutely is. But if I put it there, that uh, looks awful. Uh, let's move this around. Can I match it better like that? I can match it better like that. Oh, look at that. You can't even see the seam. No corking required here. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so pleased with myself. I'm overly pleased with myself there. Uh, oh yeah, skill point. I forgot about the skill points. Um, ooh, what are we doing at the minute? I think we are probably gonna want to go with trader. Increase income of all sources. I oh, know agriculturalist increases the harvesting speed of vegetables and fruits and the income of vegetables and fruits by eight percent. Okay, let's do that. Now, question: Can I move? Oh, first, can I pet the cat? Come here. Yes, I can. Um, can I move these plants? Can I, I'm going to guess I'd have to dig them up. And I don't really want to dig them up, I'll be honest with you. The hedges, I'm not sure where the hedges are going to go. Well, I do know where the hedges are going to go, actually. That's a lie. I have an idea of where the hedges are going to go. Can I deposit these? 
deposit. There we go. Um, what else do I need? If I take that out of my inventory for a minute, the war no, not the shovel, the watering can. Excellent stuff. And now I grab the watering can again. Is that going to go into four? Good. Four. Oh yeah. No, I haven't watered any of these, have I? Oh cool. It just waters more for less, basically. This is totally one of them deceptively satisfying games. It really is. It really is. And it's not that expensive on GOG. Um, as far as I'm aware, all of these games are on GOG that I'm playing. I'm not playing any Steam games this weekend for this event. I'm only playing GOG games. Uh, that fence is well off, isn't it? Yeah, that fence is well off. I need to move that fence. Um, unfortunately, I didn't set up a game... Um, uh, what's the word? Command... So you can see where the games are and what they're, what they're for. But if you just search GOG for Garden Simulator, it's not called Garden Simulator year or number or anything like that, just Garden Simulator, then you'll be able to find it. But it looks, it's surprisingly polished as well. There we go. Yeah, that fence is annoying me. Um, okay, refill this a sec. Lovely. Um, let's get my hand tool out and just pick this up. Uh, nope, un unlike that. <laughs> let's move these back here a smidge. There we go. I like the kind of move with the with the thing with the placement. Like they kind of try and go where you put them. Which is quite nice. It's just if you try and put them on top of each other, they sort of freak out a little bit. Um, so that's the peppers on their way. What about the primroses? Can we do primroses yet? Primrose seeds. Earn 40 garden coins with mushrooms. Nearly there. Earn 90 garden coins with mugworts. So, mugworts and mushrooms. That's what we need. reading what everyone else said. You should uh, get yourself a GOG affiliate link and then put the games you're playing as a command in chat. I'd pass on this game though. I live in the middle of nowhere. I don't need Garden Simulator. I've got the real thing by opening my door. That's fair enough. I just, I, I enjoy simulators in general. I don't know, I don't know why. I wish I knew why. I genuinely don't understand my obsession with simulators sometimes. Um, to the point where I used to play like Crane Simulator and like Ski Resort Simulator and all that sort of rubbish. Um, I have nothing else to do today, so call it a day. Call it a day and drink some water. Do not forget to hydrate, it's very important. All the fun of gardening, etc. None of the work. Yep. Yeah. And there's a an unhealthy obsession I've got with Farming Simulator. Unhealthy. There's loads of grass here now. What is going on? I asked you, Derek, I asked you to keep an eye on this grass. Don't wobble at me. I asked you to keep an eye on this grass and make sure it wasn't great. And look at all this. They've run rampant. Go on, come here. Can I, oh, can I put you on here? I mean, I've got a floor to build. I'm watching you build make-believe floors instead. That's the best way. <laughs> it's the absolute best way of doing it. I'm going to store this. This feels like absolute rubbish, this piece of wood. Store. Go somewhere. I don't care where. Um, and I appreciate you being here. <laughs> Honestly, if I can entertain you from doing, from laying a floor or entertain you while laying a floor, I've, I'm doing a good job. So, leaks. Everything needs water. Oh, God. There's weeds everywhere. So, there's one. That means I've got another one, right? Which is that one. I see. The number doesn't disappear. The number of weeds doesn't disappear when I pick it. Uh, sorry, when I dispose of it. It um, disappears when I place it in the trash. Uh, sorry. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Words are difficult. Uh, the number of weeds in the garden doesn't decrease 
when I place it in the trash, it decreases when I pick it. So that's why I think... Yeah, that's right, right? I think, I think that's what I said. I think that's what I meant, anyway. Right, let's see if we can go around Pete. I hope grass doesn't grow under Pete, because I don't really want to move the gnome every few days in order to mow underneath him. Good grief, I cannot wait to get my hands on a, a decent mower. Although, to be fair, I'm seeing this, there's a, there's a, a bit of a completionist aspect in me. Um, the completionist in me wants to do this as quickly as possible and do the thing. But I also have to remember that that's not specifically why I'm doing this. Did wonder what on earth that was again. That keeps happening. Said there were no jump scares in this. I didn't say there were no jump scares for me. <laughs> yeah, I should probably just enjoy the enjoy the motions a bit more. That, that makes sense. To be fair, it's a bed space. Uh, don't call it a bedroom. It is a room literally just the size of a twin size bed. It exists only to hold my bed and not take up any space in the main room. Vertigo getting worse, so loft bed not a viable option anymore. Oh, I'm sorry your vertigo's getting worse. I can't imagine what it's like. I mean, I have, it, I have vertigo. I have a fear of heights. I know that's not vertigo. Um, I was always told it was vertigo when I was younger, but I've been uh, educated otherwise um, in later life. But I do have a fear of heights, but I don't have vertigo. I can't imagine what that's kind of like on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm really sorry you're going through that. Is there anything you can do? Is there any like uh, medication or anything like that? Obviously, if you don't mind, if you don't mind me asking, just, if, just do that. Don't answer or tell me to shut up if you do. It's absolutely perfectly no problem. Ah. <laughs> just slowly trimming the verge. I'm about to get yanked into a window by a wizard. Uh, so I need to cut a handful of floor joists over a meter, ju just over a meter long and two main beams. Oh wow, so you are laying a floor, laying a floor. Wow, sis. Oh, that's impressive. The only experience I've had with any floorboards is when we pulled up the carpet. There was a really creaky bit of floor, and when we pulled up the carpet, um, there was like a big burn mark on it. Like someone dropped like an oil burner or something like that on the floor after we moved, when we uh, after we moved in. Not they dropped it on the floor after we moved in, but after we moved in, we noticed it. So yeah, that was uh, fun to find There's these tongue and groove. Learn how to replace. Um, uh, floorboards. Find these floorboards and then learn how to replace floorboards, if that makes sense. <laughs> so learn all the intricacies of it. Fun times being a homeowner. Fun times. You learn a lot very quickly. Oh, maybe. Most likely they left a sander on the spot. It was a weird shape, though. You know, like, if you set something on fire with an accelerant? Like, it, it seemed a bit like something had spilt. Like, it was a watermark that was burned. It was really weird. Jerry and I'm with you. You're happy renting. I mean, to be fair, the only reason uh, I ever seriously considered buying a house was because the owner of, well, other than you know owning a home, um, the uh, owner of our rented house decided to sell it. Basically, put it up for sale without, let, kind of without letting us know. We just sort of found out when the for sale sign went up, and that really rocked me a while ago. That was. Uh, six years ago ish um yeah six years ago ish and that really shook me because i was like 
oh no, this or this entire situation, like our house could be taken away from us at any minute. And we'd lived in that house. We'd rented that house for 10 years. Can you imagine? 10 years we'd rented that house. And by that point, it just felt like home. Like that was our home. So being able to actually save up the money to buy a home, buy a house, huge, huge relief. Um, it does come with the uh, added bonus package of you need to fix everything that breaks in the house, including things like the roof, the boiler, the <laughs> everything. Everything that is remotely difficult to fix. Or, you know, you pay someone to do it, which is not a bad shout in a lot of instances. Um, but, yeah, it's made us realise what we do and don't want from our next home. Which is good. And obviously we got a a house just at the start of the um, pandemic as well. So it was literally, a, a, I'd say, less than a month after the start of the pandemic. So it was it was fortunate and lucky that we got it when we did. But obviously wouldn't recommend not being able to go for a second viewing of a house during a pandemic, but we kind of fell in love with the house in the area because it was the similar area to where we'd lived before. <coughs> Is that everything? I think that's everything. Primroses we don't have yet. We can't get primroses yet. Uh, I can't remember why. Primrose. Mushrooms, which we're growing. No, we're not growing any mushrooms. I need some fungal cultures. Let's say, I don't know. Uh, how much money have we got? Let's say 10 fungal cultures. Go with that. And while I'm at it, a couple of bits of decking. This is, if we ever got decking, this is what it would be like. I'd either, well, no, to be honest, I'd probably just get all of the decking all at once because I have low impulse control. Um, and I shouldn't be allowed grown up money. But uh, where is it? I'm looking at three quarters of the. Oh, of course it's going to come from that way. Oh, you nearly hit my gnome. Be careful. me. Absolute savages. Um, yeah, I'd probably be the sort of person that would go and buy loads of decking and then realise I bought the wrong decking. Or I didn't buy the right bits or something like that. Uh, that's effed up. Uh, if the owner wants to sell, renters should have to be notified and they should always get the option first to buy. The option first to buy would have been, been alright to be honest with you. Although we then realised we were looking around the house and we're like yeah, this house is a bit of a dump. <laughs> Like, it's not where we were living. It wasn't, it wasn't bad, bad, but, like, we'd lived in it for 10 years. And it was fine because we'd lived in it for 10 years, but there was a lot of structural stuff that just had never been done, you know? And a lot of things that you wouldn't, you wouldn't live with. If you were living there, like, living there, like, buying it, is this going to be okay here? Am I going to be able to place this properly again? There we go. Lovely. New unlockable items in the shop. Don't know why there's new unlockable items in the shop. Yeah, we got quite lucky when we uh, we bought this house. What have we got? <gasps> A sunshade! Oh, we needed one of those. I can't remember why, but we needed one. Wait, did we need one for the gnome? <laughs> we needed one for the gnome. Oh, I don't have 200 coins anymore. I had loads earlier. Buy one of those. <laughs> yep. 100% hard agree, Rude Gnome. Am I going to have to move my gnome? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to move my gnome. My gnome is going to go there. There we go. Alright, uh, Sunshade. Oh, look at that. Absolutely delightful, that is. You know what that calls for? Some plant pots. <laughs> you had loads earlier until the decking incident. I don't know what you're referring to. <laughs> wow. Clay pot small, stone pot low. So if it's made of clay, it's only 8 gold. If it's made of stone, it's 20. Jeez.
These look weird that they're all the same way around, so I'm gonna swap these. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There we go. Right in my vegetable patch. Harsh, harsh and savage. Oh, I need to plant my thingies as well, don't I? There we go. Uh, oh, can I plant mushroom cultures in a plant pot? I can plant mushroom cultures. I'm not going to, but I could if I wanted. As close together as possible. Come on. Get a little proper little patch of mushrooms. There we go. Uh, four. Four watered. Oh, watering three at once. What a feeling. Ah, oh, lovely. Can I water four at once? That's the question. Oh, we are living our best watering lives, people. Living our best water lives. Garden Simulator. Game of the year. <laughs> you just wait. Wait until tomorrow morning when I'm playing Potion Craft. Oh my god. I'm sinking so much time into Potion Craft at the minute. Can't, I can't explain why I love it so much. There's nothing to do. You just mix potions and go around a little map. That's it. But it's it's Id idyllic. It really is. I just can't can't explain how chill it is. Oh, it's amazing. Uh, I think that's everything we can do today. Other than obviously pet the cat. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. Uh, yeah, call it a day. Well, right. half past four, call it a day. Day 11. So we got... Oh, unlockable items in the shop. Oh, are, they, are these grown grown? Harvest peppers? Lovely. One, two, three, four... Five, six. Excellent stuff. So we've got the vegetable basket quest done, which is good. Let's. These are not harvestable yet. They are definitely not harvestable yet because they are. We were only planted yesterday. All of these are now harvestable though. I'd quite like, I think, um, a little synopsis at the end of the day. You know, like Stardew does. Uh, a little synopsis just to say. Now, this is how a border of at least four something something said. Right, finish my thought first, sorry. Um, I'd like a little synopsis of how much you earned that day. Like, what you did. Like, what was the best crop you made, that sort of thing. Or just how much money you earned that day. That would be quite nice. I can unlock the gnome. Release Herbert, the colourful garden gnome with a lantern. Um chili seeds cultivate a border of six fully grown eggplants okay what was the thing i was after that needed is it primrose no i needed a border of those flowers i have and i can't remember what i needed it for I can't remember what I needed it for. That's unfortunate. However, what I am going to do is I'm going to buy one of these balls again. And I'm going to chuck it ten times and buy a barrel. And chuck that sometimes. And then, because that, I can unlock stuff with that. A bench. I've got to buy a bench. I have a bench. Definitely have a bench. I've got three weeds in the garden as well. What an absolute swizz. I need some flowers in these. Where are you? Oh, you broke my fence. Absolute vandal. Uh, bench. Ooh, that's a nice bench. Oof. Oh, that's a good bench. That's a good bench. Um, right, yeah, the ball seven. What is... Oh, you do look. You, you look alright, actually. Let's put you up here with um, 
Derek, Dave, whatever his name is. Oh, no, oh, sorry. <laughs> he took a little tumble off the side. Uh, I think there's safe. Yeah, there's safe. That's a weed. Not having that. I have to repair my bloody fence now because of that silly delivery person. Right, are there any more weeds? Any more? Apparently there's one more weed somewhere. One more weed. One more weed. There it is. I'm not sure why I can't grab that. I think maybe because my cat is sat on it. <laughs> there appears to be a cat on the weed. I'm just going to pet the cat. I'm just going to leave that alone. And I'm just going to repair this. <laughs> there we go. Eh. Oh, oh god. There, good enough. Um, oh, a lantern. That's a deck gnome for sure. Do you know what? I was thinking something very, very similar. I was thinking a table, maybe. Or maybe just here. Can I put it on top of the sunshade? Oh, I can! Oh my god. This, this is looking good! It's looking alright, isn't it? Uh, needs water, needs water, needs water, needs water, needs water. What was that? Oh, planted three days ago. I thought it like desperately needs water then. Yeah, what needed? What needed? My headcanon now is that the delivery in this game is a fleet of battle mechs with railgun arms launching gnome-seeking parcels in a twisted reign of terror. This is a survival game. It's an apocalypse survival game, definitely. Um, I will unlock that. But I can't remember. Maybe it was the peppers that needed it. Maybe the peppers needed that border of something. Oh, wait. A border of 14 fully grown peppers. As in, they just need to be in a line? Or a border is like a number of things? No, because harvest 10 eggplants is different to harvest a border of eggplants. Right? Yeah, definitely. That's definitely different. Lettuce... It's not that one. Yeah, I just cannot remember what it was at all. Unlockable garden bench. Unlock. I don't need one, but I'm unlocking it. Um, where's the ball? There it is. Six. I will try not to lose the ball this time. Oh, I'm sorry. It, I mean, it barely hit you. It barely touched you. But I am I am very sorry that it rolled over your paw. There is an achievement for bouncing this ten times. Not an achievement, there's a thing you can unlock. Oops. There we go. Ooh, be right back. Time to heat up the dinner. Curry. Oh, good choice. I don't know. I'm very, very fortunate that my wife is making dinner tonight and um, leaving me some out. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that is later. Uh, barrels. There we go. Unlock. Oh, I bought one. <laughs> I bought one because I clicked the button too quickly. Package landing zone. I can make a package landing zone. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Extra dumpsters. A barbecue. Weird. I, I purchased a barrel, so that's a thing we now own. Hmm. I rude now. I agree with the curries better the day after. Or curries just as good, if not slightly better than after. Don't always know about pizza. It depends on the pizza, but definitely agree with curry. <laughs> uh, whoops. <laughs> Try that again. So, I was saying about a table a minute ago. Mm -hmm. 
we go. Keep your gnome cool. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, exactly. Like, mushrooms get weird the day after. They look like slugs. Um, I can't lie. And depends on where you keep it, how... I mean, if you're heating it up as well, how are you heating it up? I saw this weird hack where you, like, you, you fried it, basically. Put it in a frying pan, got it really hot, and then stuck a bit of water in the frying pan and then covered it. You're basically steaming it, and that seems to be the best way of reheating it. I normally just throw it in the microwave, but that seems to be the best way of reheating it. Um, but then you always end up with, like, chewy crusts. It dep obviously, depending on what... Um, thingy you get, what piece you get. Hi, hello Centaria, how are you? The dream game for people who live in a flat. Yep. Or people like myself who don't who have an exercise yard and not a garden. <laughs> we have what we consider to be a yard and just an L-shaped bit of concrete outside the house. I think that's about it. For that. Um yeah, let's, hey, let's just let's pick these. I don't think I need to... Unless it's now going to be like, there's a new task for you. Oh no. A yard is a balcony. Well, at least it's got a view. Oh, I've got a skill point as well. What's my new task? <clears throat> oh, Mayor Simon. Dear citizen, welcome to our small community. I am Simon V. Rockforth, the local mayor. I visited your grandparents yesterday. Usually, I enjoy the vegetable stew your grandmother makes, but the vegetables were inadequate, to put it mildly. I think you'll need to work on the quality. Best regards, Simon V. Rockforth. Own one nut compost bin. Well, far be it from me to not take gardening advice from a mayor of a small sleepy town. Obviously I'm going to put Compost Master, I'm going to put the skill point in Compost Master because this basically says each level of Compost Master increases the speed of fertilizing and the efficiency of fertilizer by 5%. How does composting work you ask? Excellent question that I don't know the answer to yet. But does he have a mayor in gardening? Ooh, you have a convection microwave oven hybrid. It works great. Uh, nuke it for a minute to get it warm, then turn on the bake slash broiler to crisp up the bottom and char it on top. Nice. That's a that's solid. That's ten out of ten. Composting works. Com com I can't even. I can't even words. Composting works by throwing green waste in a barrel. Yep. <laughs> I think that's. Yep, use a compost bin to discard weeds and generate fertilizer. Ka-ching, and now we're out of money again. <laughs> and everything still needs water. I still haven't watered anything. <laughs> Ugh. Refill. I love that this is also one of the watering cans that we bought from, like, home bargains in the UK. <laughs> it's like the cheapest of the cheap. Well, not the cheapest of the cheap. The cheapest of the cheap is the one we were using earlier, but... Yeah, this is still bargain basement. Oh, I'm not watering anything there. I think we may we may still have this bucket in the garden, actually. In the yard. There we go. Oh, a biryani. A shit shit in a do biryani? I don't know what that is, but it sounds amazing. Uh, I make a mean, um, god, what is it that I mean, what is it that I make, uh, I make a methy, um, and that definitely develops overnight, and I've made it for lunches the next day, or I've made it for dinner, I used to make a, a big pot of it, so we do it for dinner and lunch, and it would be very developed the next day, oh, jeez. Nope, oh, you ran under the thing, kitty, come here. Let me pet you. Make it better. There you go. See, it's not that bad, is it? It's just a little bit of water. If I... There we go. Give you a couple of scratches. Right, if I open this parcel, there we go. Composting bin. So now for... I don't know what you're obsessed with over here. 
I'm stunned that Phoenix has not been not been up staring at the TV. Normally he's obsessed when I stream. Although in fairness, like I said earlier, for those who are members of the Discord, um, you'll understand that I've had to move a lot of my screens and stuff around uh, because uh, and my windows as well because Phoenix sits on the left hand side of my desk staring at the OBS window which is me on the stream. He can just turn left and look at me but he watches me on the stream preview window. <laughs> he loves it. He absolutely adores it. He's obsessed with TVs at the minute. Screens. We're rewatching. Um, we're rewatching Bones, the TV series Bones, and he's utterly transfixed by it. Certain characters as well. Like he'll he'll watch scenes with certain characters in. Oh, that that was a good feeling. That experience points. So much XP. <laughs> Is that everything watered? I think that's everything watered. There's new tasks as well. Lovely. Let me just get the composting bin on the go. I don't know where this is actually going to go. Um, I don't put it over here. Oh no, I don't want it. I don't want it. Oh, he's staring out. He's staring out, Pete. Big Pete. Um, let's put it over here. Bonk. So, 0%. I don't really know what it does, but I'm going to guess it says I've turned weeds into fertilizer. So, take this over here. Put it in here. 20%. Cool. Cannot pick up a fixed object. Okay, cool. The game feels very American with the white wooden house and white fences. It does a little, doesn't it? Somehow the water doesn't look like it's landing on the ground. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, no, it definitely doesn't. It looks like it might be, but it's not. Yeah. I'm not expecting game of the year, but it's better than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's doing that weird thing. Like, that's definitely not how water comes out of those watering cans. Uh, is that everything I need to do? Oh, new tasks. That's what I need. Oh, big cat stretch. New tasks. That's what I'm doing. Nope, not skill points. Tasks. <clears throat> Mayor Simon. Dear citizen, when you find weeds in your borders, remove them with your hands and put it in the compost bin. Make sure to fill it completely, and the next day you will have fertilizer that you can use on your plants. With each fertilization, the chance of a higher quality harvest increases. Best of gods, Simon. V. Rockforth. Create fertilizer to increase the quality of your harvest. Harvest two peppers of good quality. Okay. Sherry and Reddick, yes, you can water the cat, and it doesn't like it. I know this because it ran under my water can, water can earlier. <laughs> Damn, if only composting went that fast. Uh, uh, right? I don't know if I could compost. I think it's one of those things that I'm just like, I don't think I'm at that point in my life where I can compost. Well, firstly, we'd have a garden, so there's no garden waste. But um, I'm going to peel an orange while I'm talking to you. Uh, secondly, it's more a case of I don't think... Everyone I know with a composter has always said they like attract lots of rats and stuff, so I don't... Yeah, I don't <laughs> instantly think of the good place, like an idyllic, a super idyllic version of suburban America with no noisy cars or anything. This might be the afterlife, who knows? <laughs> we used to garden when I was a kid. Yeah, that's fair enough. We we had a big garden when I was a kid, but we didn't do anything with it. And after my mum passed away, um, I was about 12 or 13, give or take. And then, uh, yeah, I, I didn't know how to garden. At all, and it just became landfill after that. So that's it for today, then. I think that's it for today. It's looking good. Oh, wait, hang on. Is everything well watered? Yeah, cool. Holiday. 
never grown potatoes, actually. Grew tomatoes once. That was fun. And I think cucumbers in a previous, previous house. No, not in the house, obviously, in the garden. But uh, Oh, there's three weeds in this. Uh, hand tool, please. Weed. Yum. Quonk. Uh, another weed. So there's... Okay, yeah, so there's three weeds, of yeah, of which I now have two. See, that's weird, because I've picked it. But it says weeds at the top. Now it says zero weeds at the top. <laughs> there you go. But we're at eighty percent, which is cool. Wild strawberries. I like this conversation. I always thought strawberries were like mega hard to grow. I assume anything delicious is really difficult to make. Or make. It's really difficult to nature make. Yeah, I always assume it's really difficult to make and really difficult to produce anything like that. So what's happening with these? Are these need water? Need water. Oh, harvestable. Okay, so these are single-use ones. Got it. Let's go get some. Oh, I can also harvest the eggplants as well. I think these glasses are border. You know. Definitely these glasses are border. Let's go get some flowers. Oh, uh, strawberries attracted tons of lice and fruit flies because of the rot. Yeah, that's, that's what I think. That's what I think every time I think about it. <laughs> we don't get rot, but we don't get this. But we don't get in time. There's deer, squirrels, you name it. <laughs> you do live like in the middle of nowhere, right now, don't you? A simple shovel to dig the ground over. So there's no, like, hole diggers or anything like that. Uh, I, don't really, I don't really know... I don't really want, like, to buy a bigger shovel right this second. What was I doing? Flowers, that's what I was doing. Let's grow some mugworts. Two of those. And let's get... Oh, throw a barrel 20 times. Cool. You can get a garden shed if I throw a barrel 20 times. Um, how much the stones? Yes. And also... Yes. More decking. That's what we want. More decking. So primroses and harvest peppers of good quality. Oh, God, Lord. <laughs> uh, let's just place this stone. Now I'm going to need to rotate it. There we go. Of that. Uh, seven. Oh, I can't plant flowers in here. That's unfortunate. Oh. I thought I could plant flowers in this. That's a shame. I mean, in fairness, they are massive, so that's kind of understandable. Okay, so we'll save those for now. These more quartz. Can I pop them in here? Can I deposit them in here? Oh no, no, I actually wanted to deposit those. Wow, that does not stop 
filling that little E bar at all, does it? Uh, six. Uh, let's also deposit these for now as well. Because we can start collecting stuff, right? Fence panels, wooden supports. What else have we got shop wise? Um, we need. I'll tell you what we need. We need another gnome. Have 250 golden coins. We need to start saving money. That's what we need to do. So, four. Let's do some water rings. Are we talking about how strawberries rot really quickly? <laughs> I can tell by the tone of chat. <laughs> strawberries rot crazy fast if you don't eat them with a day. Yeah, yeah, fr fridging them helps, to be honest with you. But yeah, you are you are entirely right. They do they do rot really quickly. As soon as they got start to turn, like they turn really quick. Yeah, <laughs> I agree, Sherian. That's they, they're so yummy that they vanish even faster. Yep. Generally, strawberries don't last very long in the house. They either, actually, it's a bit of a flip to that. There's a bit of a, a double-edged sword. They either last ages and we end up throwing them away. Ooh, a level. Uh, or we eat them the same day. Like, just they just go immediately. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to have enough water to do that. I need more water. And also... To pet the cat. Yeah! What are these? These mushrooms still need water. Oh, let's see if we can do four at once. Oh, lovely. Delightful. That's what that noise was. Delightful. Mmm. Oh, Sharon Ray's just maybe hungry for dessert. <laughs> Take a bowl, layer some strawberries on the bottom, then layer some ice cream over them, then some more strawberries, then more ice cream, then finally go on with strawberries and some strawberry juices. I'll tell you what's really nice, uh, meringue nests as well. It's called an Eaton mess. If you have meringue nests, if you break up some meringue nests in a bowl and have uh, strawberries with them, sliced up or diced up strawberries. Whoa. And then just a bit of the juice over it. Delicious. So, what are we going to plant here? Oh, you grew some flowers last year for bees. That's amazing. I'd like, to, I'd like, I'd quite like bees. I think at some point. I don't, I'm not the, I'm not a big fan of bees, I don't like the idea of being stung, but I like bees, you know, I like the idea of bees, I'm just not a big fan, I used to really freak out when I saw a bee, like I used to run away, I'm a lot better than I used to be. Glad I put my microphone on mute then, I just sprayed orange juice all over the, uh, thing. all over the microphone. Um, yeah, they're doing a, a thing at my work at the minute where you can build and paint a beehive, like a bee house, or an insect house. There's no more weeds today. Uh, we need some. Thing. Everything's watered. I know. I know. Everything's watered. I'm gonna leave all the we. I'm gonna leave all the grass. Oh, we have a new skill point. Trader. That's what I want. Because anything I sell, I want to get a little bit of bonus off of it. Oh, I'm just going to use my VR stool and put my feet up. Lovely. Oh. So this is probably an ideal, an ideal time. Just to reset for a second. Um, let's just look up very slightly. There we go. Lovely. Just to reset for a second and welcome everyone to the stream. Uh, anyone who's tuning in right now, anyone who's been here since the start of it, I really appreciate it. I appreciate everyone who's tuning in. This is a first of three parter. Uh, stream in aid of Mind, the mental health charity here in the UK. Um, and if you can donate, then that would be fantastic. And I will just pop the link into chat right now. 
all of the information should be there. But basically, they help people with mental health issues and being a long time sufferer past and present with mental health issues. It seems very close to my heart that I would try and raise money for a cause like this. So over the next three days, I'm going to be streaming three relaxing, chill games where we can just sit back, talk about um, food and beehive beehives and stuff like that like we are in chat right at this moment. Today, we're going to be playing Garden Simulator for the next couple of hours. Tomorrow from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. Uh, UK time, that's BST, we're going to be playing Potion Craft. And on Sunday morning, same time, 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. Um, BST, we're going to be playing Bear and Breakfast. So I'm here for at least the next couple of hours. Um, I've got half an orange and I've got some water. Please don't forget to hydrate if you need to. It's important and your body tricks you to let you, let you think that you're not hydrated that you are hydrated even um and yeah sit back relax if you can donate that's fantastic if not just enjoy the show um speaking of hydration i saw a viral video a little while ago that says if you pinch the skin on your knuckle here the longer it takes to bounce back the more dehydrated you are obviously if your hands in a neutral position like as you can see, I'm pretty dehydrated at the minute, so that's why I'm trying to top up my water. Um, but yeah, the more you you pinch it, not like hard hard, don't like hurt yourself. If you pinch it and it snaps back really quickly, like you're not dehydrated. But it's a, an immediate test to see if you are dehydrated or not. And that's a freebie, you can have that one for free. <laughs> Coming up next on... Peripheral Mike's health advice. Don't take health advice from me. Um, so what do we want to do now? So we can harvest these, but also water them. <laughs> Your girlfriend always feeds bees sugar water. My wife does that. Uh, what if it snaps back fast, but then takes a little longer for the rest to form back? For the rest to form back? Oh no, I think the whole thing, like the whole, from, from, if you're doing the finger thing, from this point, like, it should look like your other fingers, it should go back down, like, pretty immediately. If you're not dehydrated, if you're hydrated, if you're hydrated enough. This is, this may not be true, but I'm pretty sure it's been... Not, not discredited. I'm going to say proven, not discredited by doctor people, doctor folk on that internet. But I think it means you are dehydrated. So, and I always like to use that as a bit of a thing, a bit of a, a bit of a test. If I've got a headache or anything like that. I'll just pinch the skin on my uh, knuckles and see if I'm dehydrated. <laughs> and nine times out of ten, I am. I used to have a real problem with drinking just water, to be honest with you. Always had a problem drinking water, and I think... I think it's because I just found it so boring. It's just so dull. It didn't taste like anything. And then I got, like... Because, you know, like, we didn't have, like, fizzy drinks in the house growing up, um, really. I can remember Coca-Cola was, like, a posh drink. Such a random thing to remember in the middle of a live stream. Coca-Cola was something uh, a, a rich family, I say rich, a normal person uh, in the family could afford and, and get. And that was the drink. Whenever we went round to this person's house, um, we would have a glass of Coca-Cola or a can of Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola in a can, nonetheless. And yeah, it was just a a treat, a surprise, because we'd never really had it before. But yeah, I used to really hate um, just drinking water. Now I'm okay with it. Now I don't really think about it too much. Uh, and I think because I... I don't, know, I don't really know what changed, to be honest with you. There are times when I really don't like the idea of water. I'll go through phases. I will really not like what the idea of water. So I'll just drink juice instead. I'll just add a bit of juice to it. So that'll, that'll help me out. <gasps> I think our mushrooms are ready. They are ready. Our mushrooms are ready. Pick the mushrooms.
we're getting next to none for this. Uh, just remember, be, uh, if they sting you, bees die. Bees do not like to sting. They're not like hornets or wasps. Hornets and wasps can get in the ocean. I hate hornets and wasps. Um, you can literally push them out of the way and they just move, so long as you do it calmly. When you scream and panic, they do too. Remember, they've got tiny bitty brains. Itty bitty brains. Itty bitty brains. You've got to keep calm because they're not smart enough to. Yep. Just drink a glass of water. Good. Excellent. Hail hydrate. <laughs> it's something I re I didn't realise how much of... Uh, oh, do you know, when I started weightlifting uh, last year, I realised that I would get headaches really badly. And I realised I was not nowhere near as hydrated as I needed to be. Like, I was drinking a lot of water. Um, and I still was getting headaches. And I just... Yeah, I realised after a while I was taking like um, electrolytes because I was losing water and salt as well. They're they're really helpful as well in case uh, in case you don't have salt in your diet. Um, electrolytes are really useful, especially if you get cramps. I don't know if you get muscle cramps. This really is health advice with peripheral mic. Uh, if you get muscle cramps, uh, salt, salty crisps or something like that will help with muscle cramps um, temporarily. Don't be like chugging you know, salt shakers and stuff like that, but you can also get uh, dissolvable electrolytes or salt tablets as well from your local uh, health place, health food shop. Because I used to get really bad cramps in my legs in the middle of the night as well, which was annoying. And electrolytes helped me. I just ate a piece of orange peel, but I'm going to style it out. I can't style that out. I can't style that out, I'm sorry. Oh. How do... So how do you use now? How do we use this? Harvest two peppers of good quality. Create a fertilizer to increase the quality of your harvest. So this just increases the quality of my harvest? Aren't cramps usually an issue with a lack of magnesium? Sometimes, um, but salt, uh, salt in the body, this is not professional advice, salt in the body can, um, lack of salt in the body can prevent messages getting to certain muscles, uh, which may be the cause of magnesium as well. But the one tip of advice I got from a personal trainer was um, if you are getting cramps, after, specifically if you're training, running, anything like that, if you're getting cramps or just cramps in general, then something salty will help, like electrolytes or salt tablets or salty crisps at a pinch. And it's always worked. Always. Moderate quality. So how does... How, how do... Fertilizer... How do fertilizers... Maybe I don't. Maybe it just happens. Maybe I should have read it. <laughs> um, are we talking about sore muscles? No, sore muscles. Sore is completely normal. Like if you're, if you're, well, if you're doing something that makes the muscles sore, um, then you. That's. I think that's completely normal. Oh, I do know about cramps in like the toes and stuff. Oh, they're horrible. Oh, they're awful. I use. I normally get them in my calf. Like, because I've got, because I was always a big dude. I was like nearly 30 stone when I was like a teenager. So I, I've got, I got good legs. Is what I'm trying to point out there. I got good, strong legs. Um, so my, but my calves are massive. So there's a lot of surface area to cramp up. Um, and when they, when they go, they go like, phoom. they're just. I can't, I can't get rid of the cramp. And my wife always says, oh, you need to walk on it. And so I, I can't even stand up. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's really bad. <laughs> that being said, when I can walk on it, I can walk a cramp out. But yeah, when it happens, it just, it's just, it's like you, you, your Achilles tendon has just been sliced or something. 
Uh, cramps are when you uh, kind of lose muscle control and some muscles just decide to full force pull against each other. Yes. Yep. That's a very good way of putting it. Actually, that might be the, the proper way of putting it. I'm not sure. But that's a very good way of putting it. What was I doing? I've completely forgotten what I'm doing because I was talking about cramps. <laughs> right, let's harvest these. Because we we're going we're gonna to get some cash from these. Three? Absolutely ludicrous. The re. What? What is actually called? What is actually useful to harvest then? Oh, peppers. Peppers are pretty decent to harvest. Okay. So, moderate quality, moderate quality, moderate quality. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Compost box. How does that work? How does compost box work? Beep, 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 beep. Compost bin. Use the compost bin to discard waste and generate fertilizer. How, how does one use the fertilizer though? Because there's no. Oh, I wonder if I shovel it. Maybe I shovel it. I'm not sure. There's a lot of uh, muscle soreness and muscle cramp talk right now. I'm, I'm definitely, I'm definitely into this. <laughs> this is. I'm in my thirties. This is where my, my allegiances lie. So basically what we call cramps, we never call them, we never call in the muscles. Green with the hating cramps in your toes and feet. That's horrendous. Right, how do. No, we're not digging. Can I pick up a fixated object? So, does this just work then? Like, I don't really understand. There's another weed here as well. I'm not sure if this is going to help. Nope. I'm just going to keep it there. So technically, there's another weed in the garden as well. Somewhere. Because there's still one weed in the garden. Unless me putting that one down is just put the weed back in the garden. Right, excellent, so it has. So if I drop this, the weed exists in the garden, and if I pick it up, it no longer exists in the garden. Uh, okay. What if I put it there? Does that now still exist in the garden? Yep, and now I can't get it. Fantastic, there it is. That's fine, let's just put the weeds near the composter. Um. Okay, so for, so they're all watered, they're all watered. So we need to go back to sleep. Oh, unlockable items are in the shop. <laughs> this, yeah, the worst moment is the second before you feel a cramp coming on. The second between it coming on and you feeling it. Can you water the laptop? <laughs> oh, we can unlock... What? Fridolin. Fridolin. 100 coins? Absolutely not. Uh, yep. Can water laptop. This is how you grow an M1 into an M2. <laughs> this is how a MacBook Air becomes a MacBook Pro. <laughs> oh, I'm going to take my guy to bed. He's tired. <laughs> Top tech tip, laptops like to be watered. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Do not send me your laptop uh, your laptop repair bill. Uh, right, so are these still moderate quality? Moderate, 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 moderate. 
moderate, 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 moderate. So how do... How do you use this? Oh, the day after, of course it is. It said the day after. I have nine bits of fertilizer. That's impressive. Uh, two peppers of good quality. Oh, I can fertilize these now. Cool. Fertilize. Whoop. Fertilize. Fertilize. Muck spread. Muck spread. Muck spread. Did you just... No, he's fine. The cat is fine. The cat is fine. That's how you create a green screen. But um, Tish. Uh, I got three more here. So one, two, three. Lovely. Um, and now I can't grab the weeds. There it is. If I hold a weed, it shows me where the other weeds are. They're all in there. Okay. Are you growing peppers or spicy peppers? Peppers. I'm not growing chilies yet. Although I probably could. I did I unlock chilies actually? I can't if I unlocked chilies. If I did, I might I might go grow some chilies. Uh, <laughs> Spicy peppers just sounds like you you meaning sexy peppers. <laughs> Are you growing peppers or spicy peppers? Right. So what happens? So now there's one weed in the garden. If this falls not straight and it's not planted in the garden no it still classes as a plant in the garden okay cool come here willy Badoing. and what was it here again a hedge some flooring okay cool uh, let's open the shop 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 uh, chili seeds that's all we want 11. Oh, oh, that's how much you can sell it for. Got it. Wait, if it only sells for 9, then why am I selling them for 14? Oh, because of my bonuses. Of course it is. Yeah, of course it is. So let's grow some of those, but also grow more peppers. There we go. And then we'll be on our way to Money Town. Ching. Oh, I've got more stuff here. These incredibly rubbish eggplants that only sell for like three gold each. Ah! And watering. Doing a water. Do, 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 do. Doing a water. Ow! Oh, I'm out of water. I wonder if you can buy like a hose at some point. <laughs> Technically, I suppose you could, that would be the sprinklers. Doop. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Ah, oh, so close. So close to fulfilling the destiny of the single watering can. There we go. So close. Um, these peppers need... Oh, I need to get past these. These peppers need a good water. Now they've been pooped on. I mean, I have a cat. Surely I also have extra fertilizer from the cat, right? You would assume at some point. Eh, get the chili out of the way. <gasps> Don't destroy the fence! God. I was about to be real angry then. That's why I have a rain spell and a mithril watering can. <laughs> nice one. I wish uh, there was some. Sometimes in this game, I wish there was uh, some level of magic to it. This with magical elements would be really nice. I mean, it's a it's a solid game. I'm surprised. It's it's a lot better than I thought it would be. Boink. Um, what else are they doing? Is this all watered? You're all watered. You're all watered. I have some chilies and some peppers to plant. Uh, ooh, no. Six. Can I plant chilies in the pots? No, which is utterly untrue. I know I can plant chilies in pots. I've seen them grow. Chili. Oh, no. Delete. Uh, remove thingy. Yeah. Uh, 
massive remove edging. That's the wrong term. Um, <laughs> remove uh, gridding. Yeah. <laughs> the term I wanted. Oh, I thought I had another one. Okay. Uh, seven. Seven. Uh, oh, everything needs water. Everything needs a water. Oh, wow. So, if I don't... So, let me just get this right. If I don't trim the grass, it just dies. Because there's, there's this much grass now. I wonder what it depends on. It's just random. These all done. These all appear to be done. Uh, now, am I going to be able to do? Oh, I can do these two. There we go. Ah, oh, I'll be able to do this one. Hopefully, I'll be able to do this one. You have you have achieved the prophecy of the single watering can. Oh, there's a bit of uh, trash outside my bin. Pium, pium. Oh no. There we go. I gotta read this message from Arud now. Obviously, I thought it was hilarious. She's like three stuffed her lunch into the tape slot of the VCR. She panics when it makes noises and runs to the kitchen yell yelling, Mommy, Mommy, the visa is allergic to peanuts. Took us a minute to realize she jammed a peanut butter and jelly sandwich into the VCR because it wouldn't show her a movie thinking it was hungry. We still give her a crap about it now. She's in her 20s. Excellent. I did that when I was a kid. Uh, so I'm told, anyway, I don't believe it, but so I'm told I fed a jam sandwich to a video player, a VCR player, which, I'll be honest, is a, a, it's such a random memory, it could have been made up, I don't know, but yeah, that's one of the things, I, I squashed a jam sandwich into the, uh, which is the equivalent of jelly in America, um, jam sandwich into a, into a video player. I keep wanting to say DVD player because I'm thinking of antiquated tech, but it's not. It's more antiquated than that. <laughs> Your stream has inspired me to propose gardening tomorrow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it does make me want, like... Yeah, it does make me want to buy some flower pots and plant some stuff and just see what happens. Like, where's, where's the harm in that? Do you know what I mean? You've always been fairly tech savvy, so you don't have any stories like that. I mean, I, to be fair, I think I was like three. <laughs> I've definitely never, since being... I don't know, when did I get my first computer? I think I got my first computer when I was... Was it before? No, it was after my mum passed. So I would have been 12, 13, maybe 14, give or take. Um, I've been pretty tech savvy since then. Uh, how much do I drink? Oh yeah, how much is the next upgrade? The next land upgrade? 680. I need to save some money. We need some ruddy money. Oh, a new skill point is available. Cool. Uh, agriculturalist. Give me my money. Exactly, right, Arud now? At uh, three, it just makes sense. You're learning peg and hole. Like, that's... That's it. Sandwich just fits. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there we go. I've got more... I've got more grass now. That's weird. Let's do some mowing first. I can't quite see all the grass because it's, like, dawn. Come on, out the way. <laughs> that bag of grass nearly flattened my cart. That would have been awkward. I've grown to like that cat. 
Oh, um, speaking of cats, cat update. Uh, so uh, I may have explained this before on stream. I'm not 100% sure. Or on the Discord, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but Phoenix recently had an operation to remove some lumps. And those of you who know about it have sent well wishes. You've sent messages, that sort of thing. Genuinely really appreciative of that. He's doing much better. Um, so I think the last update said was on a stream a few days ago which was probably if i say that it was probably a couple of weeks ago now um he opened some of his stitches and i was really panicked about him right i i because he's my little man and I, I genuinely really panicked about him and i thought you know what if he opens them what if they get into a fight what if anything happens that sort of thing but the vet sort of sat me down and reassured me afterwards that they were going to put some different stitches in so he's got dissolvable stitches in um and now he has some additional non-dissolvable stitches in uh he did have when they put the non-dissolvable ones in he did have a little bit of a funny turn when he came around from the anesthetic but um, which did did worry us, but uh, he's been absolutely fine since. Now the vet recommended that he wear like a recovery vest to like stop him from licking the stitches. We tried something like that, and we think it just made him itchy, so we've not we've just left him alone. I think since the vet said like even if he were to open all of his stitches, nothing bad would happen. All that would happen is that they just heal different. They just heal wonky, basically. That's been a big relief and a big load off and basically meant that um, I, I'm not fretting over him. We're not fretting over him half as much as we were. So, But he's doing well. He's doing all right. He, I now call him Patches because <laughs> he looks like he's he's made of patchwork. Um, but he's doing okay. So yeah, that was the thing. I, I know some people have reached out and have said like, your cat had an operation and we haven't heard anything is everything okay that sort of thing because like he's part of our lives like massively like he's one of my bloody emos do you know what i mean um and that's all the mowing done pick up other stuff Boop. <laughs> you know what I mean? just chilling big cat stretch yes uh, Harvest, why? My god, they grew fast. Sheesh. Yeah, let me just pick up these uh, thingies. So that's us got some thingy. compost filled fertilizer will be ready tomorrow. I probably should have read that earlier. Where are other... Oh, there we go. So there's one there. So I now have two in the garden. There's one in the corner and one near the eggplants. Got it. Pop that there. Yeah, he's doing much better now. I think he's doing much better as well because I'm not... I'm not fretting over him quite so much. The night the night he came back, or the day he came back, sorry. Um, no sleep absolutely no sleep because i was just like he was miserable i was miserable and we were just we were both worried about him pretty much all night i, I keep meaning to update i say update i keep meaning to repost some stuff on the um uh pet corner on the discord and once i'm finished doing this i'll stick the exclamation mark discord command in chat so if anybody's watching who isn't a member of the discord and you wish to become a member quite a chill group to be honest with you there's quite a lot of just um sharing pictures of cats and things like that i should probably do some more stuff on there because uh, that's that's virtually the only social media i have i'm occasionally on linkedin but i sacked off twitter and instagram and facebook facebook ages ago instagram just became a scroll fest for me um, and twitter just became a hellscape so Oh, Centauri, I absolutely do not feel you need to apologise. Sorry you're not around so much on the Discord talk. No, don't. Absolutely not. There's not a there's not a mandatory attendance. Absolutely not. If there were, I'd have been kicked out ages ago. <laughs> um But uh, yeah, no, there's absolutely no I don't I don't see it as a 
oh yeah, come come and join the Discord, make it the best Discord in the world. No one cares if your Discord is busy or quiet. Like, there's 27 Discord servers. I mean, jeez, I've only got four. <laughs> That's hard enough for me. Do you know what I mean? But like, uh, that rests pretty much solely with myself. Like, I'm. It's not that it's not interesting. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it's, I don't want it to be like an attention vampire for people. I want people to use it to either get a little ping when I go live to say, oh, that's a great way. I've got Discord and that's a great way of getting a notification rather than being on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that. Because um, I've noticed more people use Discord than use sort of generic social medias. So. And it means I, you know, if I send a tweet out, and you've, you've all heard this before, but if I send a tweet out, it, five of you might see it, um, and of that five of you, two of you might tune in. Do you know what I mean? And if I send the Discord message out, that's going specifically to people who have made a choice to get updates about my content creation. And that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. It could have two people in, it could have two million people in, that's absolutely fine, you know? I think it's about 20 people or so, I'm not sure. Uh, but I do like to be there, I can always be pinged whenever people want. Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah, 100%. After you left Twitter, Twitter went even worse. Oh god! <laughs> I mean, I don't want to say I was holding it together, but, you know. <laughs> if there is evidence to suggest this. <laughs> uh, let's buy some... I really want some flowers in this uh, in this thing. Yeah, are these are these gonna fit? I don't know if these will fit actually. Let's get one of them. Yeah, let's just get one of them. Just just that. That's it. That's all I want. I miss some grass. Yeah, I don't want to say I was holding to it together, but I might have been holding to it together. Never say anything on Twitter or me. I love, I don't know if anybody's heard of Randy Feltface. Um, he's a, well, Randy Feltface is a puppet and there's a, a ventriloquist behind him. But he says, oh, social media is great. You get to, you know, people are just like, oh, quick, 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 quick. What's your um, uh, opinion and reaction on this deep societal issue? Quick, think of it really quickly and type it into your phone in 180 characters or less so we can all tell you to F off and die. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that's, that's one of the reasons I sacked off social media. I've got, I got political opinions about stuff, but I don't need to share it to the void. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't need a million and one people telling me to go, go away. <laughs> moderate quality, moderate quality. Oh, oh, it's a bar on that icon so you can't see this because i'm in the way but there is an icon there saying moderate quality but there's a little bar that's filled up good quality oh, i see so tomorrow i can get more fertilizer which means i can fertilize, fertilize more plants got it i never made facebook or twitter accounts i had well i made a facebook account ages ago many many years ago um and i just didn't update it and we moved away from our well watered oh some of them are harvestable. Um, we moved away from our uh, town, and I just realised I, I left it alone for like a year or so, and then uh, realised that I just wasn't in contact with anyone. Like I had nothing really in common with anyone anymore. Like um, some people I still stayed in touch with, but I stayed in touch with them through other means. So it just didn't make a lot of sense. So I just kind of I didn't close it down because I then obviously needed it for uh, Oculus. <laughs> Oh, there's new tasks. And some chilies. Uh, yeah, I needed it for the Oculus, but I... Um, now, I probably use it to keep in touch with a couple of family members, that's it. That's that's it, Centaria, that's it. Once you read a topic, like, you read a topic you didn't give a fuss about, then you read the comments and your mind was blown by the stupidity. So, also... I noticed that I was getting some less than positive comments on my YouTube uh, videos because I've been uploading to YouTube quite a lot. Um, 
<laughs> Sharon Reddick hit the nail on the head there. Uh, so ages ago, many years ago now, I silenced YouTube comments. And then I thought to myself, well, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm just going to moderate them and I'm going to uh, curate them and stuff like that. It's not worked out. It's not worked out at all. Since since my quote-unquote rebranding, um, it's absolutely not worked out in the last few months. YouTube comments are a hundred times more intelligent than Twitter comments. I, I do agree with that, actually. I prefer positive YouTube comments. But all of my YouTube comments are either people telling me that I'm trash at a game, <laughs> uh, I'm trash at a YouTubing, uh, or I would they like me to purchase this adult surface service? And I'm like, I don't, I don't want that. Also, if I've got a Discord, surely if you guys think my video is good, you'll either leave me a thumbs up or you'll just say this video is really good, <laughs> like in Discord. So yeah, I've silenced them again. I, I didn't mean to make a video about that as well. Uh, new tasks and a skill point. I think skill point's probably going to go back into agriculture. Maybe compost maker. Yeah, compost maker. And new tasks. Um, Mayor Simon. Dear citizen, it seems you're getting an, uh, an <laughs> antiquated. That's not the word. It seems you're getting acquainted with the art of gardening. But don't get your hopes up too high. Let's see if you can create a brilliant harvest. The higher the quality of harvest, the more the income it generates. Harvest four leeks of brilliant quality. Brilliant quality. So how, can I... Can I... Four leeks of brilliant quality. Can I... I can't even talk. Don't mind doing anything else. Can I fertilize crops more than once. Oof. <laughs> Nearly got me right in the head. Yes, 100% showing. Definitely ban anyone who's being like that. 100%. But yeah, the I would get comments on Discord from people saying, oh yeah, the video's really good, I really enjoyed this, this really made me laugh. And I would just get you know, comments on YouTube that just made me sad. So I'm like, I just don't, I don't want to do that to myself. And I'm like, for ages, I think I was one of these bad pieces of advice where it was like, oh, you can't, you can't hide the likes or hide the comments or anything like that because it's bad practice. And I'm like, screw that. <laughs> That's it. Screw that. Uh, what was I doing? Leaks. That's what I was doing. I was leaking all over the place. Oh, wait. Should I plant them tomorrow? If this isn't ready, I'll plant them tomorrow. Uh, is everything watered? Everything's watered. Call it a day. Yeah, none of them can actually hurt you, but you're not allowed to hurt others. Yeah, I just don't... I just don't want to put myself through that. Like, there's still that, that sort of... Um, I don't want to take in toxicity, if that makes sense. Oh, nearly. There we go. Oh, so close. Yeah, I, yeah, Centauri, I agree with that. Some people, I used to have probably a thicker skin than I did, but I probably just wasn't aware that it was affecting me as much. Um... Yeah, I probably just wasn't aware it was affecting me as much, but now I'm just like, well, I don't need that, so I'm not gonna have that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't need to accept toxic comments on YouTube videos or anything like that, so I'm just not gonna. It doesn't stop me making videos; it stops people enjoying them, it doesn't stop people finding them. So, yeah. And it's a bit harsh, but I, I kind of, for the longest time, for many years now, I, um, I didn't sort of. Not stick up for myself. That makes it sound probably worse than it seems. But 
I came second place to other people. It doesn't matter who that person was. I, I came second place to other people. And that's a big mental health problem. Um, which is a, a segue to the fact that we're streaming in aid of Mind. For anyone who's tuned in who doesn't know and can't see the um, overlays, uh, we're streaming in aid of Mind. Um, I'll stick the exclamation mark Mind um, link in the chat in a second. But uh, at the minute, I'm just watering some chilies. Oh, I ruined now. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, all the information for the donation uh, link is there and the campaign itself. We're hoping to raise over this weekend £1,000. I don't know if we're going to meet it, but I thought it's good to have goals, right? Um, we're currently at £75 from f a few very uh, lovely people. And uh, if you are able to donate, that would be fantastic. Obviously, if you're not able to donate, that's absolutely fine as well. There's no pressure or anything like that at 100% with the cost of living and stuff the way it is at the moment um, don't want people to uh, be encouraged to donate when they don't need to it's never going to be a high pressure environment on this channel never has been, never will be um, unless I'm playing Phasmo in VR and then, uh, whoa, geez, that is that is pressure Phasmo solo in VR Ooh, lord um, but yeah, if you are able to donate or share the link on your various social medias or just tune in, relax take a, take a break that's absolutely fine by me. One, two, oops, I pick up. One, two, so there's two there. There's one there. There's two there. Excellent. Err. And there was one here a second ago. Oh, there it is. Is it? Yeah, there it is. Oh, it's right near the, I say gate, right near the entrance. Uh, thank you, Rudno. I really appreciate that. I don't think I specifically said thank you for you uh, putting the um, message in the chat. And if you aren't uh, on Twitch on a device that supports chat, and you want to have a look at the campaign, you can go to Tiltify. That's T-I-L-T-I-F-Y dot com forward slash at peripheral mic. That's the at symbol uh, peripheral mic forward slash mind m-i-n-d that's tiltify.com forward slash at peripheral mic forward slash mind so watering can there or watered again there or watered again we now have some fertilizer which is great uh, so let's grab some fertilizer can I pick up fixed objects that's fine I didn't really mean to oh I have no space in my hotbar okay Oh, yes, those flowers are white plants. Can they plant? Yes, fantastic. Okay, so I'll get another one of those. Good. You just realise your mum has the same watering can. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> uh, take fertiliser. Uh, okay, so leaks. So moderate quality. Right, so let me get the leaks out in a second. 7.1234, right? So now if I get the fertilizer leak, fertilizer leak. Oh, so I can't, I can't fertilize it more than that. Got it. more than once a day understood right so now oh, i need to water it there we go water there we go okay i think i'm just gonna pop to call it a day a second pop in Come back out the next day and see if I can re-fertilize some of those leaks. Just to see how it goes. Four, five, six. There we go. Six. So these are moderate quality. So if I fertilize these again, two, three, four. Excellent. Oh, I should have put these weeds in here earlier, shouldn't I? Um, but I can see how these weeds... Uh, ooh, whoops. How these weeds can pile up in this fertilizer now. 
The cash is like, this is my box. Compost are filled, excellent. So are there any other, yeah. Oop. So there's, oh, I can't see it anymore. There's one there. Oh, there's, there is only one there. Good. Yum. Where is, ah, there it is. Yoink. Let's do all those there. Only gonna want to do the things in a minute. The leaks, because that is the objective. And I kind of want to know the stages. So we've got low quality, or adequate quality, I think it was. Medium quality. Medium quality? Moderate quality, that was it. Oh, lovely. Oh, that was a satisfying double, double watering noise, wasn't it? Oh, excellent. I do love this watering can. Awesome. Oh, I'm missing both of them there. This is because of my stupid gridding. <laughs> Adequate, i.e. Walmart shelves quality. Yeah, true. Adequate as in it will go off soon. It's, uh, do you guys, does anybody have the concept of wonky veg? In the UK, we have uh, cheaper veg and fruit that's wonky. And is it, it's just not, like it's carrots that aren't straight and stuff like that. And, you know, peppers that are a bit misshapen and things like that. And potatoes that look a bit odd or a bit of a weird shape rather than being stereotypically potato shaped. Now I have no problem with that. Um, I saw this weird, I said weird, I saw this program a little while ago that showed how much food waste is being generated. It's quite startling actually, how much food waste is being generated because the UK consumer doesn't want ugly vegetables. And I'm thinking, be putting it in a food. <laughs> like there's nothing, they were showing like parsnips, and turnips and stuff like that. And I'm like, there's nothing there I wouldn't eat. Especially if you're just cutting it up, you know. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I don't know if people, if are, you, are your vegetables. This is a personal question to ask people on the internet. Are your vegetables wonky? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I said I promised I'd keep this PG. I promised I'd try. I promised I'd try. Hey, thank you very much for the sub. Back off for X5. Happy weekend, yo. Now I have a message. Look out for each other and always bear in mind, seek help if needed. Hashtag mental health awareness. Hashtag positivity. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Echo. You sub to tier one. You just go for 19 months. 19 months. That's exciting. I've been an affiliate for 19 months. I have. Wait, October. November, December, January, February. I've been an affiliate for 19 months. Holy cow. That's the only way I remember how long I've been an affiliate is the fact that Echo Alpha has been an absolute legend and has been <laughs> subscribed ever since. I feel like I'm shortchanging them. I really do sometimes. I feel like someone's paying me like actual money to do stuff. <laughs> Echo has subscribed for yes a number of months. Yes. Echo subscribed for head math a number of months. <laughs> That's right. I had to do finger maths then. I was just like, <laughs> October, November, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was having a look a little while ago at the options within Twitch, because I'll be honest, I've rarely, rarely dive into them. Um, and I noticed there's, you can set up streaming events now for like your stream anniversary. Uh, so my affiliate stream anniversary is going to fall at the end of October, which will line up beautifully with the horror stream I have planned. I say horror stream, the Halloween stream, I should state. So this year, we're going to be playing through all of the original Resident Evil games. Over there, and I won't get out now because it's under a lot of other games, over there we have Resident Evil 1, 2 and 3 on the original PlayStation. Uh, Resident Evil 4 and 5 on PlayStation 2. No, 4 on... I can't remember what they're on, actually. 4 and 5, definitely. I still need to get 6. Um, and 7 is obviously 7. Uh, is obviously uh, Biohazard. But all the original ones. Not the remakes, the original PS, PS1 and PS... Yeah, PS1 games. Were they on PS2? They must have been on PS2. Um, 
but yeah, whenever I've been going retro game shopping, I excuse me, I have been stashing them away and be like, I saw them randomly, and I was like, oh, that would make a good, because after the Silent Hill Halloween stream, I was like, I should play more spooky games for like not spooky spooky games, but like classic horror games, you know. For, uh, for Halloween streams, like series of uh, uh, Halloween games, uh, series of uh, horror games. Oh, sorry, Pete. Big, big Pete. Uh, are these all done? These are all done. Yeah, good. Right, let's get these. Let's get these grown. So yeah, that's going to be coming up in October as well, as well as the anniversary. And I also noticed, I think it's nearly. I want to say my. 10 year stream anniversary? I think, I can't remember. It's a big, it's a year. It's either 9 or 10 this year, I can't quite remember. So there'll be something for that as well. Yeah, I want to say it's 10 years. Uh, one day I will take it more seriously than I currently do, but I have to, there's a lot of internal monologuing that I have to get over myself. Um, it's easier, weirdly, and this absolutely isn't a pressure thing, um, it's easier to take serious, more seriously now I can ask people to subscribe, or rather I say ask people. Now people can subscribe if they feel necessary, if they feel they want to. So I recently got a payout from Twitch, um, and it was, I think, 40 something pounds or something like that for three months over a number of months streaming. And I'll be honest, it was an on and off again kind of relationship I had with Twitch at the time. Uh, but doing stuff like this, like obviously for a uh, thingy, for charity events, is lovely. But being able to do longer streams or more often streams would be even nicer. Um, and it's just a case of getting my head around that. Because I'm the impediment there, I'm, I'm the blocker. Like nothing, there's nothing else going on. So it's just getting my head around that. But now it's, it's easier for me to take that seriously now that like, there's a monetary value attached to that. But that being said, that also means that I need to discuss with people like, um, why do I only take things seriously if it earns me money, for example? Do you know what I mean? So I need to kind of address that and come to terms with that. But that's only something that's happened recently. I think I only got my pick out like a couple of weeks ago. Whenever I was in Germany, I can't remember, a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago. And if I say a few weeks ago, and I think it was only a few weeks ago, it was probably two months ago, knowing me. Because time has no relevance in my head. Blah, 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 blah. What are all the things? I'm definitely considering buying oh, 500 coins. Holy cow. Definitely considering buying a sprinkler for this garden. <laughs> ah, yes, the issue with most of us is we're our own worst critics for sure. Yeah, no, I completely agree with now. I need to get my PS3 back, uh, back on. It has Resident Evil, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3 on it. Oh, nice. I'm very tempted by the um, classics collection on PlayStation, uh, on PlayStation 5. However, I had noticed, I was looking through it the other day, I had noticed I own a lot of them on the original hardware. Now, anyway. Um, which is another story. I've probably said, I've probably told this on stream, but I'm, I'm going to share it again. That uh, uh, when we um, moved from Blackpool, which is my hometown, born and raised, on the playground is where I spent most of my days, um, it was because I had a falling out with my dad. And it wasn't the only reason, but that didn't help. But uh, that made the decision easier, let me tell you. Uh, we, I lost contact with him for many years. Many, many years. Big falling out. Many, many years. And realised after the fact that uh, he'd actually moved and all of the stuff in the house had been chucked. So, well, we lost ev everything, basically. Uh, uh, lots of... Uh, lots of old games and stuff. So now I have uh, adult money for some reason, and trusted me with money, um, it means I can go and uh, thrift shop in uh, charity shops and things. So I can, one, support charities, and two, buy second-hand retro games, because the sales market for retro games is astonishingly out of whack at the moment. Oh. 
Like, I don't understand how it could cost hundreds of pounds for a, and I quote, working console, when actually it is working, but it looks like it was sat in the room of someone who smokes a thousand cigarettes a day for 30 years. You know? There's a SNES. I was going to buy a SNES a little while ago, and it just... Absolutely not. I mean, there's some that are cheap, but they're, like, cheap because they're broken. And there's some that are, like, mega expensive. Anyway, that's kind of beside the point, because I got um, an analog console from the company Analog.co, I think it's called. Um, and they do, like, uh, reproduction consoles. So I got, like, a reproduction unit. But they're um, HD. They are... Uh, FPGA powered, so they're, they're using semi-traditional hardware, that sort of thing. <laughs> I would agree, just get a Raspberry Pi over the emulator. I did that, and then realised that because I have analysis paralysis as well, I didn't... I, I couldn't play anything. I got a genuine... I was really into emulation for a while, and I, I, think I still am, but I got a Raspberry Pi with like Mega Drive and every Mega Drive game that's ever released. Don't don't tell the FBI. Um, or Sega, actually. But basically, I sat there and I never used it. And I never used it because I can never decide what to play. And the reason I can never decide what to play was because I missed that physical connection with the retro games. Now, it's easy enough, sort of, with a digital library to do this, because you have, a, you expect it to be a limited selection, right? Um, or you, you expect it to be a, a large selection, so you can just you can flick through your Steam catalog or your GOG catalog or whatever you want to. Kind of worried I was going to destroy those weeds then. Um, yeah, whatever you want to, and you can play games uh, unless you like me, and then you just like nope, too much choice, can't do it, shutting down. Um, and then you uh, start. Ooh, Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. It's, um... Yeah, unless you have loads of choice like me, because being a, a games journalist for nearly a decade, or just over a decade, meant that I had hundreds and hundreds of games I'd never played and never wanted to. Take a fertilizer. Thank you very much. Did I keep the other fertilizer? I thought I kept the other fertilizer. Oh, I did. I think I used it. Good quality. Oh, maybe the fertilizer doesn't, fertilizer doesn't last. Unless I put it in here, I didn't realize. Uh, Mugwort seeds. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I had hundreds of games as well, Sharon, Um which is why I created the, the Steam Clean series, where I'm basically going to go through all the games I basically never played and probably never will. I, I need I need to go through some of them because I, I ferried a lot of the games I'd never even installed or turned on into a playlist. I'm going to go through them game by game by game. And basically, I'm going to stream it because that's, that's good content. Um, playing rubbish games on the internet is good content. It's one of the reasons why I've started buying the worst PlayStation 1 games that are on Metacritic because they're going to be horrendous and it's going to be entertaining. Um, it's probably going to give me an aneurysm, but it's entertaining. Uh, so look out for that later in the year. I, um, yeah, I realised really quickly, I started moving all these games around, and I realised I've got quite a few really good games on PC that I want to play again, but I didn't see them. Like, I just didn't at all see them. So now I'm, uh, I'm slowly, slowly going through them. What is that? Is that a weed? That's a wind. Six, five, four, three, two. Is that full? No. But there are two weeds left in the garden, apparently. Oh, yeah. I look forward to seeing you complete every character on PlayStation's Criticom, a grand jank fighting game and one of my favorites growing up. Excellent. Uh, if it was on Metacritic, I, I'll probably have. Lo I'll probably look for it. <laughs> if it's on Metacritic somewhere, I'll keep an eye out. Where is ah? There it is. Where is another one? There's another one. That's kind of helpful. Juan Hondrad. 
Right, so I have five bits of fertilizer left. I'm going to use four of them because I don't think it lasted the night. Really don't think it lasted the night. Uh, let's fertilize. 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 These are all moderate quality. You'd assume the, the fertilizer would have lasted longer than that. Good quality. I wonder, if, does it need to be best quality before it's pickable? Or like, I don't know, I think I'm confusing myself. Uh, what would be a good gimmick for you, I think, is a Raspberry Pi with an emulator and a randomizer. Load up the stream, push power on, and see what you'll see what we're watching today. I've actually never seen a stream like that, and it could be funny. It might be, and you might find a few gems that way as well. That's not a bad idea. So the only reason I've not done that with Steam Clean is uh, install times. That's the only reason, because some of them are like massive games, like they take hours to install. Um, or a mister, yeah, absolutely a mister. I'd really like a mister, actually. Um, yeah, you. Uh, one, my original plan was to have uh, like a, a random number generator, and it almost be like a wheel, like a like a show, like a game show wheel. This was my original plan. This this hasn't panned out. This is my original plan. I'd uh, spin the wheel. Oh, I could do this. Do you know we may have we may have just stumbled upon something here, people? So, next Steam Clean episode, probably next Friday, right? Think about this. We um, play. I got two games, one hour each, right? Play those games. At the end of the, which I'll pick off stream. At the end of that stream, I spin a wheel with all of the names of the games on, and it'll stop on a game, and then we'll install that game for next week. And then spin it again, and it'll sort and sort the second game for next week. That might help. That might that might be a thing, because then it would be a running series, right? Because if you're watching it on demand, it'd be like yeah, Wheel of Misfortune. Spin the wheel of all the terrible games on your Steam list. Yeah, it'd be the Wheel of Misfortune. Brilliant. That's oh, I need a pen. <laughs> Give me a minute. I need a pen. I can't reach. Ugh. Ugh, I'm having to touch workbooks. Ugh. I'm having to touch data science stuff. How gross. So, Steam Clean. This is it. This is happening. This is our brainstorm stuff. <laughs> Steam Clean. End with Wheel of Misfortune. Of Miss. Fortune. Wheel of Misfortune. Excellent. I can get a, a some sort of fortune wheel, misfortune wheel, like app or website or something like that where I can pre populate it. The fact that there's like 200 games, probably, hopefully, there'll be some sort of CSV import, but you never know. Um, we'll figure that one out. So, yeah, solid idea. I like it. I'm going to celebrate with a drink of water. Yeah, like that, like that idea a lot. Because then if you're watching it on demand, it would be a case of, yes, yeah, exactly. There's a million of them that do that by now. And if not, I'll buy a real wheel. I won't, I definitely won't, there's no room. <laughs> I take up enough room with a green screen, to be honest with you. I uh, recent, though I recently um, uh, ended up using, uh, for Christmas, I got, um, <laughs> that's how long ago it was, for Christmas, I got uh, a VR rigging kit, which meant that when I'm using my VR stuff, I can hook it up to the ceiling and the wall, so the tether cable doesn't um, trail on the wall anymore, trail on the floor. And it means I'm less likely, it's not impossible, but I'm less likely to run over it with my chair. So that's a thing. That's Talking of space saving, that's how my brain works. Right, so I've got one lot of fertilizer left. Let's see if that stays with me. It does! Interesting. Okay. So, fertilizer. It's a brilliant quality. Brilliant quality! Oh. I mean, they look no different, so... Harvest these. 
Brilliant quality. Brilliant quality. Brilliant quality. Brilliant quality. So basically, just muck spread everywhere is what you probably want to do. Uh, also, uh, there we go. Take fertilizer. Drop. Drop. Oh, I didn't look where the other things were. The other. There's bound to be a. Uh, I was going to say there's bound to be a weed in here. Oh, there are no weeds. I didn't, I didn't see that. Primroses. Right. How do we do primroses? But yeah, I would have loved to have maybe some sort of chat voting system or like community interaction but I just don't I don't know if that's going to be not worthwhile absolutely not but more like am I going to forget to do that is that going to be more effort for me so it's going to be another admin task do you know what I mean so yeah I think doing something on on screen on stream on the show is like the wheel of misfortune next week we've got this or well, the next time I stream will be this and uh, yeah I'll go and install it now that would be really good. I like that idea. It has got legs, as they say. Uh, so, no oh, new tasks, not new items. Although, no, primroses. God. <laughs> How do primrose? How do primrose? Uh, primrose, how do? How do? Locked. Earn 90 coins with mugworts. Got it. Mugworts. Smoke There we go. I wonder if I can fertilize flowers. Surely you can fertilize flowers. Whoops, that's the wrong thing. I need my hands. Whoa. There we go. Oh, there's also trash now in my garden. Great. There we are. Have I watered anything yet? No, I haven't. Okay. That's absolutely not a problem. Um, yeah, like Arv's community game is cool, but all too often people forget and all that can make it a pain. I have to recall when he's doing nominations, also the issue of having a game in mind of forgetting what he's doing. Yeah, that's uh, that's exactly what I didn't what I didn't want. I mean, I'm sure when it works, I'm sure it works absolutely perfectly, but it's almost a little bit of a perfect storm thing, right? You sort of like, you've got to get everything right. Whereas with the wheel, the wheel of misfortune, I can fertilize flowers. Oh, yeah. The wheel, the wheel of misfortune. Um, we can uh, see how my brain is going to suffer next. <laughs> I have so much fun streaming sometimes. I sometimes wonder if I should just not not do YouTube anymore and just do Twitch full time. <laughs> just back in YouTube. Um, also, if the wheel calls the game, no one's to blame. It's pure RNG. Yep. That's a good tagline for it. If the wheel calls the game, there's no one to blame. Jesus. A rude note. Do you want a job? Calls the game. There's no one to blame. I love that. <laughs> you creative sod, you. Oh, may I sign it again? Dear citizen, you've exceeded my expectations. I'm arranging a ball and need flowers. Could you deliver a half dozen brilliant bouquets? Best regards, Simon V. Rockforth. I'm not quite sure why I listened to a Voldemort voice then. Uh, harvest six mugworts of brilliant quality. Six. Gaz, gaz, gazanias of brilliant quality, and six hollyhocks of brilliant quality. Not my fault, a lot of relatives in advertising is their fault. I've been infected. <laughs> well, I will happily use your second hand knowledge. So technically, it would be third hand knowledge by the time it got to me, but I'm alright with that. Uh, florist. 
yeah, florist. Florist? Uh, so I have, oh god, uh, gazinias and hollyhocks. How do you get these flowers? No flowers. Gazinias and hollyhocks. Hollyhocks. I need two extensions. Well, I'll get that, Emma. Uh, in other news, I initiated a yay or nay with my D&D party to see who is interested in another campaign after our current one, which might make its return soon. So far, it's yay. Hooray! Echo Alpha X5. Fantastic stuff. That's awesome. I love the buzz of a new D&D campaign. Like, I really love the idea of... Like, I love making new characters with new backstories. I think it's why I like one shot so much. I'm just like, that's definitely... Oh, yeah. I love that. I love that feeling of, of thinking of a new class build. That's why I used to do streams on making D&D characters that will probably never see the light of day. <laughs> Are these... Is this... Yeah, that is grass. Okay, cool. Uh, one. There we go. Uh, what needs watering? Everything. Everything needs the water. Irish Grandpa. Ones? No, I haven't even watered them. I've fertilised them, though, I think. Uh, six? Yes, I've fertilised them. So we can fertilise these ones tomorrow. Oh, I just I'm getting hungry. happy sticking around for the extra half an hour. I'm not like hungry hungry. I'm not like a hungry hungry hippo. Do you know what I mean? I'm just a snacky. There was a distinct smell of delicious food wafting from up from downstairs earlier, so I wonder I'm curious as to what my dinner is. It feels so weird saying that, because me and my wife always cook together. It's really weird that she's cooked she's cooked, eaten and left it for me. That's reminiscent of days like when I used to work late, or we'd be on sh I'd be on shifts. Not exactly something I want to go back to. So, oh, I nearly had enough of that. <laughs> I like that people are talking about the voice that you need to implement for a D and D character. And how, if it's a difficult voice for a one shot, it's great, but for a whole campaign, who boy, does that go downhill fast? <laughs> yeah. Or you end up just with like scarred larynx or something. <laughs> you end up with a really gravelly voice for a couple of days afterwards. I don't know how I can do many different voices. I quite like mine, to be honest with you. I do like old man voice and stuff like that, but I really like comical voice. Although when I'm playing, there's a game. Whenever I play games, I like to uh, I like to do the voices. There's a game I was playing called um, oh I forgot what it's called now. Coffee break, coffee time, coffee talk. That was it. There we go. Thanks, brain. Uh, coffee talk and it was really weird because I was playing it on my own as in I was in the house on my own there was no one else other than my cats um, and I was voicing every character <laughs> and not just like a simple voice like and not necessarily an overly complicated voice but like thematically on point voices <laughs> I just and when I started playing it the next day I was playing like three hours or something I started playing it the next day 
Um, yeah. uh, I felt weird because I wasn't doing the voices. <laughs> right, Pete. Uh, I need to shift you, mate. You've got grass on you. There we go. Just give you a quick, give the grass a quick hoover. There we go. Oh, hello. There we go. So that's everything for today, I think. Yeah. I think so. Wait, it's not everything for today, is it? Because I now have enough coins to buy another expansion. Oh, do you want the left area or the right area? Let's go to the left area. Cha-ching! And now, we are poor again. Poor, but spacious. Moderate, 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 moderate. Cool. Uh, let's... Fertilise. Tell you what, I'm going to fertilise these peppers. Tell you what, talk about doing some voices. I'm going to fertilise these peppers and get me some money. I'm on my land. Uh, do, do, come here. Piece of wood. There we go. <laughs> For anyone curious, Mike and Rob were in a campaign together eons ago. It was eons ago. That was a house ago, that was. Two houses ago. <laughs> it was a glorious adventure too. TikTok was an amazing character. For his time, TikTok was an amazing character. So I played... Oh, it's another side. I played a Warforged fighter. Um during the tyranny of dragons. Uh, yay! Someone set off more explosives in my house. Uh, I'm more worried about the cat than the fireworks, to be honest with you. Cats don't normally like fireworks. Oh wow, this was tiny. Like tiny tiny. There's a whole backyard though. I can't help but feel I'm missing out a little bit on some of the space that I need to uh Oh, I haven't got my hands. There we go. Um, yeah, Tickler was a good, was a good character. He was a warforged fighter, and basically I had to I had to research what warforged were because uh, I wanted me to the um, to he thought of that character um, because one of the other characters was leaving. But I uh, I never I didn't know what warforged was, so I listened to an audio book. I can't remember what it was now. I'm trying trying to remember what it was. Uh, no, I can't. I can't quite remember what the audio book was. Just have a quick, a cheeky Google while I'm looking at the sky. Uh, D and no, that's pound sign. D and D audio book war forged. Nope, that's not helpful. <laughs> In the slightest. Or just D and D audiobook. I remember the cover, it was like two humans and a warforge sneaking down a set of stairs. And do I have Audible anymore? No, I don't. Okay. Nope, cannot remember. But it was a Warforged specific. It was an Eberron um, specific book. It featured a Warforged. Um, so I took a lot of my inspiration from that that character. Uh, including the fact that that character could like record voices, like a voice recorder. And when I did that in the campaign, I was like, uh, is this like a memory? Or do you actually have like a recorder in you? I'm like, no, it's pretty much a recorder. <laughs> and he's like, uh, I'm gonna have to double check this. I'm like, okay, you can double check it, but... You know, it's in an official D&D book, so I'm assuming it's canon. <laughs> it's not that he wasn't happy about it. I think it just took him by surprise because he wasn't expecting someone to basically Kenku one of the characters. <laughs> by which I mean repeat what they said exactly. <laughs> With absolutely no question in regards to whether or not it was correct. 
It's like at all times, every conversation is secretly being recorded by the Warforged Fire. Uh, but yeah, sadly, TikTok will uh, will never never get to ride again. I may play another Warforged in future. That is a cool idea as a Warforged, but I think I'd play something different. Um, I'm not 100% sure what I'd play. I like the idea of a bard. Though I think... I'm not 100% certain about this. I think Silvo might be leaning towards a bard multi-class. Like a sorcerer bard. So about I've been writing songs about the campaign and I think as soon as... Oh no. As soon as he gets like a stiff drink in him at the end of the next one of the next sessions, he's going to start belting out some song, songs in the tavern. <laughs> I think that's definitely a thing that's going to happen. And I've written a song about uh, uh, Morthwill. I've written a song about Waves, the Kenku. I've written a song about Brine. I've written a song about the whole campaign. You know, all this sort of stuff. I mean, they're all heavily heavily inspired by other songs that already exist, but that's totally fine, right? <laughs> like, I've done a version of um, Blunt the Knives from The Hobbit, specifically about Morthwill, who is a... For anyone who doesn't know the, the campaign, Morthwill Gagoignant is a uh, dwarven artificer. So, you know, I've, uh, I've made a song about him. Uh, waves, waves crashing against rock is our Kenku paladin. Kenku are a bird-like um, race of uh, follower minion-esque creatures, and um, Brian the bloodthirsty is our um, water genasi fighter. Fighter or barbarian? Fighter. She's not barbarian. Uh, Water Genasi Fighter and Silvo Genius Betrulus is our half elven aberrant mind sorcerer. Oh, I don't have any fertilizer. <laughs> oh, I, I don't have any fertilizer. Mm, I thought I did. Oh, so I can't fertilize it today. I'm getting real confused with this. Am I just not doing this properly? I'm a bit tired. Weeds. I need some weeds. Just looking for some weeds. Just looking for some weeds. There we go. There's a weed. Oh, those. I walked straight past one. Oh, got the wrong way. Sixty. Yum. Eighty. Cool. Uh, a warforged bard named WBRD, the voice of Eberron. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The voice of Eberron. Are you saying that... Is that the book I was thinking of? Or are you, is that a character idea? I, can't, I genuinely want to remember. Oh, wait. Eberron books. Eberron books. No, not... Google it. No, I want Google Images. Just a random funny idea from TikTok. Fair. What's funny now, I don't think TikTok would have the same impact that he uh, he had uh, back then because TikTok was inspired, the name TikTok was inspired by the name of the robot from Wizard of Oz. Um, uh, not the... Um, yeah, your character's TikTok, not the site. Yeah, not the... Not the uh, popular site. Genuinely cannot find that um, that story. I might actually have to reinstall Audible. Audible. Oh, it did. It did it when I searched for it. Thanks, iPhone. It's not what I wanted, but thanks. Uh, maybe later. What is it called? What is it called? What is it called? Oh, I don't have that many. Oh God, I do. I do have that many books. Jeez. Oh, there's, there's a lot here, and it doesn't show me the uh, thingies. 
the covers, so I'm not 100% sure. Audio books. I'm just going to let it load the covers. Hopefully by the end of the stream we'll find, we'll figure out what it is. Uh, right, what am I doing? What am I doing? Does thing need, things need to be watered. Something needs to be. And I think all of these can be harvested. Although, it still works out in the site, which is people copying memes for the most part. Yeah, that's fair. I think it would be uh, expected for a character named TikTok now to do some sort of silly dance. Fill this up. Joe, you know, I think we've made good progress here. I mean, I'm going to keep the save. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to. This is. I think this is very well uh, deserving of a lo fi gaming episode. So I'm definitely going to uh, keep the save game and we shall uh, we'll continue this another day. So this is a good. Oh man, I'm out of water. This is a good, um, just a, a nice relaxing sim, to be honest with you. plane going overhead outside. Don't know if anybody can hear that. <laughs> Quite suppose I can hear it in these headphones. I'm not sure if I can hear it in the headphones or I can hear it through like over the headphones or I can hear it through the microphone in the headphones because I have that weird thing where you can monitor your voice on your, uh, on your headphones. Because that's just, that's just how it works <laughs> on this on this audio device. It works better if you're monitoring your own thing. Oh, there we go. Oh. No, nope, I'm not actually watering anything there. Right, these have loaded. So what? Also helps so you're not bellowing because you can't hear yourself. Yes, that does. That does definitely help. I can monitor my own volume because I know if I'm shouting. Because like I said, these these um, headphones they're not noise cancelling in the traditional sense, but they they are good at blocking out noise. Bound by Iron by Edward Bolm. That was it. It's a book called Bound by Iron and it's about that's where I got the the uh, kind of uh, reference material for um, TikTok. It's a good book to be honest with you. Well of what I remember of it that was you know, seven years ago or something daft like that so I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure. That was not long after I uh, quit working for GOG, to be honest with you. It was around the same time, I think. Yeah. Yeah, the Tyranny of Dragons one. Because they, they were long sessions. Like, they were six hours. Six hour D&D &D sessions. Which for everyone else was like either early morning or mid-afternoon. And for me, it was midnight until 6 a.m. So I'd have to, and I I didn't mind doing that, which just goes to goes to show there must have been a deeper reason why I left GOG. Um, I uh, I didn't mind doing that because I would it would be a Saturday night, so I would would spend Saturday together. Me and my wife would spend that Saturday together. Uh, aren't you still appearing on GOG on the daily streams? Yeah, yeah, on the daily streams. I mean, I'm not working for GOG. Like when I was doing the GOG cast, and I was streaming for them. They were paying me for that. That was a paid gig. Um, but that was uh, uh, yeah so whenever I did a stream on GOG I got paid for it whenever I did a GOG cast I got paid for it as well so that I just didn't voice them 
But then it got to the point where I couldn't do streams because I was working on the GOGcast. I mean, game streams to work on the GOGcast. Uh, but then I just do the GOGcast every week. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> oh, I'll sleep well tonight. <laughs> uh, right, let's get rid of that. I think all these can be harvested now. Harvest pepper. Uh, let me just in inspect. Good quality. I really want them to be great quality. The chilies, I don't. Now, let's see if we can get everything to be great quality. We've got like 15 minutes left. I did like the golf castle. It, it was lovely. I'd, I'd do it completely differently now, though. Um, I'd do it using something like uh, Riverside. Um, I don't pretty sure is the name of the software basically it means that you can i'd probably have it as a recording uh, rather than a stream but i'd premiere it as a stream if that makes sense i'd premiere it on stream um but i'd have it so that with riverside software you can have local recordings all in one place uh, so I've used it for I used it for Final Fantasy and stuff like that, which is still something in the back burner. Um, where I have my local recording and my guest has their local recording, but I get access to all the local recordings, and it doesn't take up too much resources on their end. And then I can just stick all the local recordings together, um, and then just edit it as I want, uh, which is brilliant and also better quality as well. You don't have internet quality music, uh, internet quality sound, or anything like that. So. But yeah, I'd definitely do it differently. I'd have less streamers on. I'd have more guests. It'd be less frequent, probably twice a month, maybe monthly. Um, but it would be talking about gaming news and the latest releases on GOG. And if it was if it to be weekly, it'd be an hour. But I don't think it should be weekly. I think it should have been like bi-weekly to begin with. I never understood why it was two hours. I think that's because that was the, that was the general that was the general slot duration for a stream on GOG. Anyway, this I don't want to turn, start turning into a, a post mortem of why I left GOG. <laughs> right, so they're all watered, right? Doop, 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 doop. Currently, I just watch Angry Angry Joe's Gaming News and Five Minute Gaming. Jesse, that's fair. I watch neither of those. For a content creator, I'm incredibly isolated in regards to my uh, my content consumption. <sighs> right, let's get us some fertilizer, shall we? Oh, it's not even finished. There's six weeds. I keep forgetting I need to refill this. <laughs> I, yeah, Centaria just said um, you like to be kept in the loop with gaming news. I realised recently I am well out of the loop with gaming news because uh, I didn't realise that Breath of the Wild 2 was coming out this soon. I thought it was still a pipeline thing. I, I honestly have fallen out of the loop with gaming news. Uh, just uh, that's not happened intentionally that happened accidentally and I think that's partially because of the social media thing um, I'm not being served that information are these harvestable planted two days ago need water not harvestable okay um, yeah because I'm not being served that information automatically I have to go out and look for it and if I have to go out and look for it I don't do it <laughs> I just don't I just don't do it at all. So yeah, I end up not knowing this stuff's happening in the gaming world. Uh, although what I'm still trying to look for is indie game releases. I think um, yeah, I, it's, it's hard with indie games because sometimes like the indie games on Steam are rubbish. Um, and the indie games on there, there's not a huge amount of indie games on GOG. Um, there are the in-dev ones, but I think they're more heavily curated. And rightly so, don't get me wrong. Um, but 
Yeah, I, I keep meaning to look at itch.io or itch.io uh, for indie games, but that's again, that's kind of the wild west. The best, the best one I've played recently is a game called I think it's Daedalus or Daedalus, um, and it's actually a Game Boy game, funnily enough, released for the Evercade um, on their indie here, one of their indie heroes cartridges, and that is a Game Boy. Check this, a Game Boy horror game, and it's really it's not a horror it's not creepy like it's not a creepy scary like jump scare game it's an adventure game but it's based around almost this um uh oh, what's it what's his name the the guy who did cthulhu uh lovecraft it's, it's almost like a lovecraftian um horror game where you basically you wander around you collect items you use items to certain places it's dead basic but it's dead intriguing uh, because it's a Game Boy game on modern on modern systems. Yeah, Daedalus, I think it's called. Um, we can have a look for it on different platforms. I I want to say it started off life as like, not like a flash game, but like a, a just a ROM hack game. Um, but it was made in like a, a, a studio environment, not a studio, but like a, a an actual piece of software that makes Game Boy games now. Um, but that seems to be a, a weirdly growing market. Um, and considering I'm completely out of touch with gaming news, if I know about that, then surely it is a growing market. Does that make sense? Um, if it's popular enough to be to be known like that by someone like me, old man Smith. Yeah, it's not very long. I think it boasts like thirty something different endings as well, based on obviously based on what different things you do. Oh, where are the others? There's four here. One there. Three over there. Got it. But yeah, I'm fascinated with um, new games made for old systems. So like new Mega Drive games, new or recently made Mega Drive games, or recently made uh, SNES games and stuff like that. Right, so let's go and that's everything watered, right? Is that everything watered? Watered, watered, water. Oh, that, there's nothing to water over there, that's fine. Um, day 22, under the dome. Let's go get some fertilizer. Come on. Oh, 60, 80, 100. Compost are filled. And I also have compost. Oops, there we go. Uh, right. So these are harvestable, I think. Yeah, but I'm going to keep them there. Oof. These take a lot of fertilizer to make good. Right. They're fertilized. I also want... What's what's good quality here? Moderate, 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 moderate. Oh yeah, some of these are not good in the slightest, are they? It's interesting that it doesn't go up. My quote reminds you of Jade Cocoon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's interesting that doesn't tell me how good it is until the next day. I'm sure there was a, a weed here. Oh, there is. Eh. There we go. How many more are there? Two over there. Okay. Right. So I think this is coming to a nice natural close now. This first. Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. This first installment of the triple stream. Um, I really like this game. This is deceptively addictive, I've got to admit. And I can see myself playing more of this on stream just to kind of. Not fill time, that's a bad way of putting it. But I can see this being a go to game if I want to stream something. And I don't know what I want to stream. Um, also, you can pet the cat. 
Yeah. All right. Uh, I think that's all the grass done. Things will need watering. I'll do those now. Otherwise, if I load it again, I'll forget. Arud, no, you are absolutely true. You're absolutely right. This is one more turn game. It's one more day. Just, just one more in-game day. That's all I need. Just one more in-game day. You've just read that Romans put mugwort in their shoes. Was there a specific reason? Or were they just, like... Was that, like, filling? Is that, like, uh, Roman odor eaters? Oh. Oh. There we go. I'm enjoying this new watering can far more than I probably should. Oh, damn it! I nearly fulfilled the prophecy of the single can. There we go. To leave pain and tiredness. Brilliant. Uh, do, uh, are they... Oh, no, they're, har they're harvestable, aren't they? So they don't need watering anymore. Can't believe that. That's, that's going to take so much fertilizer to get done. To become great. Make mugworts great again. Uh, yeah, I'm, I can definitely see myself playing more of this on stream and just making the best garden in the world. <laughs> this could be my my eventual inevitable heel turn back to simulators. What have you done to me, Twitch? What have you done to me? <laughs> You're dealing with a lot with the Romans in your field of work. You're an... Am I okay to say what you do, Sinceria? I think you've mentioned it in the past before, on stream, I'm just not sure. You're still an archaeologist. Good. Excellent. That's, that's what I thought you were. Um, yes. I didn't know. Some people were a bit funny about their job title like being said live on the internet. I don't I don't care. Uh, more of a digital one at that. Oh, nice. Um, my job title is Research and Development Architect, so which has nothing to do with architecture, so it has everything to do with software. I'm one of the guys in R&D. <laughs> which has literally never been said in the four years I've been working in R&D. <laughs> oh, we must have a look at the new items we have to unlock. we've unlocked in the shop. The garden's done for now. Uh, unlockable, a big push mower, Oof. but we'll unlock that, uh, which is 500 coins and a big watering can. I think I'm not doing something right because I don't have a lot of money. Oh, a lettuce seed, unlock that. And oh, maybe I'm just not selling the right things. Who knows? Uh, and also, oh, a sprinkler! Yes! It's only 100! Small sprinkler that automatically waters nearby plants. Fantastic. And the package landing zone is 200. <sighs> oh, and the, the 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 front area left side. Front area left side. So we've got front area left side. Oh, right, okay. So front area left side I've unlocked. Front area right side I've not, which is weird. <laughs> Own the right garden. Oh, so you can go round in a in a circle. Five thousand coins. I'll just buy four of them. No. Um, yeah, so that kind of brings us to a close, to be honest with you. Um, I'm going to head on out of here, go get some food, go chill out for a little bit, and then I will see you bright and early, 8 a.m. in the morning for uh, Potion Craft, which I have to double check is installed, actually. I've had an absolutely wonderful time playing this i hope you've had to, you have as well um watching it thank you very much to everyone who has uh donated and thank you everyone who, have, who has chatted and kept me company during these last five hours or so i've really appreciated it this uh, stream is the first of three that's going to be taking place. We're going to be playing at 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. tomorrow, British time, uh, UK time, so that's BST, and 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Sunday, where we're going to be playing at uh, BST as well, where we're going to be playing Potion Craft and Bear and Breakfast, respectively. This uh, live stream or series of live streams is a 15 hour live stream split over three days to. Um, 
uh, in honor of the one in 15 of us who will attempt suicide in our lifetimes. And this is all in aid of Mind, the mental health charity. So if you can um, donate, that would be absolutely fantastic. I'll stick a link in the description. I'll stick a link in the description. I'll stick a link in the chat in a few seconds. And if uh, you're not on a device that can see the chat, then just go to Tiltify. That's T I L. I forgot how to spell Tiltify now. T I L T I F Y dot com forward slash at peripheral mic forward slash mind, and that will give you all the information you need. But for now, I'm going to leave you with some of the video content that Mind have generously donated to us, and I will see you in the morning. Stay safe, and thanks very much, everyone. Bye bye for now. Mental health problems affect one in four of us. Join MIND now in the fight for mental health. A donation of 20 pounds could help 167 people take their first steps in getting mental health support through MIND's booklets. £40 could help keep Mind's supportive online community side by side, open for another hour, helping to connect people and feel less alone.